75 Ways to Identify Risks in an Organization 75 Techniques for Identifying Risks in Your Organization The Solomon Fadden, Risk Management of Everything Channel, Presents 75 Ways to Identify Risks in an Organization 75 Techniques for Identifying Risks Your an Organization Welcome to the Solomon Fadden, Risk Management of Everything Channel On this channel, you will see videos on risk management and the application of risk management to diverse areas and sectors. If you are new here, subscribe to our channel and press the notification button to notify you when we upload new videos. Thank you. This video discusses 75 ways to identify risks in an organization. It explains 75 techniques for identifying risks in your organization. In this video, you will understand the meaning of risk, risk management, the benefits of risk management, the risk management process, risk identification, and 75 techniques for identifying risks in your organization. Now, let us start. What is a risk? Risk is the uncertainty of financial loss. An event or uncertainty can negatively impact an organization's ability to achieve its goals. It can involve financial losses, reputational damage, operational disruptions, missed opportunities, or legal consequences. Risks can be internal, within an organization, and external, from the external environment. In a business context, risk refers to the uncertainty or variability of outcomes that may affect the achievement of an organization's objectives. Risks can arise from internal or external factors and positively and negatively impact the business. Managing risks is crucial for organizations to navigate uncertainties effectively and make informed decisions. Critical Characteristics of Risk Here are the critical characteristics of a risk. 1. Uncertainty, the potential impact and likelihood of a risk occurring are only sometimes fully known, requiring estimation and management. 2. Negative impact, while some risks offer potential upside, most are associated with potentially detrimental consequences. And 3. Variety, risks can manifest in diverse forms, from economic downturns to cyber attacks to employee fraud. Business organizations are susceptible to several risks, operational, financial, strategic, reputational, compliance, market and technology. Understanding and managing risks is essential for businesses to develop effective risk management strategies, enhance resilience, and ultimately achieve their objectives in a dynamic and uncertain environment. Hence, there is a need to discuss risk management. What is risk management? Risk management is the structured and continuous process of identifying, assessing, and mitigating potential organizational threats. It is a systematic process of identifying, assessing, prioritizing, and mitigating risks to minimize the impact of possible events or uncertainties on an organization's objectives. It involves understanding internal and external factors that could jeopardize organizational goals and taking proactive steps to minimize their impact. Risk management aims to proactively identify potential threats and opportunities, allowing organizations to make informed decisions and enhance their ability to achieve their goals. Investing in risk management saves organizations significant financial and reputational costs in the long run. By adopting a proactive risk management approach, a firm can gain greater control over its future, safeguard its organization's success, and create a more resilient environment for sustainable growth. Organizations can anticipate and respond to potential challenges by establishing a structured risk management process, ultimately improving their ability to effectively achieve their objectives and navigate uncertainties. Benefits of Risk Management Effective risk management helps organizations 1. Make informed decisions, by identifying and understanding potential risks. A firm can make better decisions about resource allocation, investments, and strategic initiatives. 2. 
minimize losses, implementing mitigation strategies helps organizations prevent or reduce the impact of adverse events, protecting their financial stability, reputation, and operations. 3. Improve efficiency and performance, by proactively addressing risks, an organization can avoid disruptions and delays, leading to smoother operations and improved performance. 4. Enhance compliance, many industries have regulations requiring risk management practices. A robust framework ensures compliance and avoids potential penalties. Risk management process. Risk management is identifying, assessing, and mitigating potential threats that could negatively impact a firm's performance and achieving its objectives. It helps an organization anticipate challenges, make informed decisions, and safeguard its resources and reputation. The risk management process is a systematic and structured approach to managing risk within an organization. A risk management process consists of five critical steps, identified, assess, prioritize, treat, monitor, and review. 1. Identify risks. This involves brainstorming potential threats, considering internal factors like human error and external factors like economic downturns. There are several ways of identifying risks in an organization, including risk registers, checklists, and scenario planning to ensure comprehensive identification. 75 techniques for identifying organizational risk are discussed later in this video. 2. Assess risks. Analyze the likelihood of each risk occurring and its potential impact on an organization. The assessment stages entail the possible effects of risks on the organization, considering financial losses, reputational damage, and operational disruptions. After identifying risks, assess the probability and potential impact of each risk. For instance, the risk of a delayed due to weather is highly probable with a moderate effect. 3. Prioritize risks. Focus on the most critical risks with the most significant potential for harm, prioritizing risks based on their severity and likelihood. It should be prioritized further if the risk of high weather related delays significantly impacts the construction project. 4. Risk treatment. Implement actions to reduce the likelihood of identified risks occurring or minimize their impact if they do happen. Develop strategies to reduce or eliminate the effect of identified risks. In the construction project example, a mitigation strategy for weather-related delays might involve scheduling contingency time in the project timeline or investing in weather-resistant construction materials. 5. Monitor and review. Regularly monitor the effectiveness of a company's risk management plan and update it as needed to reflect changes in the organization and the external environment. Continuously monitor identified risks throughout the project. Regularly review and update risk assessments based on changes in the project environment. In the construction project, monitoring might involve checking weather forecasts and adjusting plans accordingly. Risk identification. The first step in a risk management process is to identify potential risks. Understanding the scope of possible risks will assist an organization in developing realistic, cost-effective strategies for dealing with them. Risk identification is the first and crucial step in the risk management process. Risk identification systematically recognizes and documents potential risks that could impact achieving organizational objectives. The purpose is to create a comprehensive list of an organization's potential risks. This process involves identifying potential events, situations, or conditions with positive and negative impacts. It involves systematically searching for and recognizing potential threats and opportunities the organization might face. It is all about proactively uncovering where things could go wrong or unexpectedly well before they happen. Risk identification is an ongoing process. New risks and opportunities emerge as organizations and the environment evolve. Regularly reviewing and updating risk identification is essential. This is vital in laying a good foundation for a sound risk management process. The importance of risk identification. Here are some of the importance of risk identification. 1. Early detection, 
Early identification of risks enables a firm to take preventative measures to minimize the consequences of the organization. 2. Informed decision-making, understanding potential risks helps a firm make strategic decisions considering opportunities and challenges. 3. Resource allocation, knowing where risks lie lets an organization allocate resources effectively to mitigate them and maximize opportunities. 4. Compliance, risk identification is essential because many industries have regulations requiring risk identification as part of their risk management framework. 75 ways to identify risks in an organization. Risk identification is the first and crucial step in the risk management process. Here are 75 techniques for identifying risks in an organization. 1. Break down the big picture approach. Breaking down the big picture in the context of risk identification and management refers to dissecting a complex situation or project into smaller, more manageable components. By doing so, organizations can gain a more granular understanding of potential risks and challenges, making assessing, prioritizing, and addressing them easier. Breaking down the big picture is not commonly used in risk management, but it captures a crucial step in the process. It essentially refers to deconstructing complex situations into smaller, manageable components to enable effective risk identification and management. Let us consider the importance of the breaking down the big picture approach. Importance of breaking down the big picture. 1. Clarity and focus. Examining a complex situation can be overwhelming, making it challenging to identify specific risks. Breaking it down provides clarity and allows an organization to focus on individual aspects and their potential consequences. 2. Granularity and depth. A granular approach helps to delve deeper into each relevant component to identify risks that might be obscure in a broader view. This leads to a more comprehensive understanding of the overall risk landscape. 3. Prioritization and action. Dividing the big picture into smaller parts allows an organization to prioritize risks based on their severity, likelihood, and potential impact. This helps allocate resources and develop targeted mitigation strategies effectively. 4. Communication and collaboration. Breaking down the big picture facilitates clear communication with stakeholders involved in risk management. Presenting risks in a structured and understandable way encourages better collaboration and decision making. Examples of breaking down the big picture in risk identification and management. 1. Project management, instead of analyzing the entire project as a single risk, break it down into phases, deliverables, and dependencies. This allows the identification of risks specific to each stage and proactive mitigation strategies. 2. Cybersecurity, rather than focusing solely on cyber attacks, consider specific threats like malware, phishing, or data breaches. This granular view helps prioritize security measures and allocate resources efficiently. 3. Compliance. Instead of viewing compliance as a monolithic goal, define specific regulations and requirements applicable to an organization. This targeted approach ensures that the organization address each compliance area effectively. 4. Organizational change. Break the change initiative into crucial milestones, activities, and stakeholders. This allows identifying potential resistance, communication gaps, and implementation risks, leading to smoother transitions. 5. Supply chain management. Instead of a general supply chain risk, dissect different suppliers, logistics routes, and inventory levels. This granular view helps identify vulnerabilities and develop contingency plans specific to each as. By adopting a breaking down the big picture approach, an organization can effectively identify, prioritize, and manage risks, laying the foundation for a more secure, resilient, and prosperous future. By breaking down the big picture, the organization can systematically address risks at each stage of the new product launch, allowing for targeted risk mitigation strategies and a more successful overall outcome.
Breaking down the big picture in risk identification and management ensures that organizations consider critical details and are better equipped to navigate complex scenarios. It facilitates a more proactive and targeted approach to risk mitigation, enhancing the likelihood of project success and organizational resilience. 2. Ask what if? Questions. Ask what if? Questions is a technique used in risk identification and management that involves exploring potential scenarios and outcomes by posing hypothetical questions. By asking these questions, organizations can uncover hidden risks, anticipate unforeseen challenges, and develop strategies to mitigate or respond to them. Ask what if? Questions is a crucial mindset in risk management. It refers to proactively considering potential scenarios and associated risks, helping an organization anticipate challenges and prepare effective responses. By embracing this questioning approach, the company can move beyond simply reacting to problems and proactively managing potential threats. Importance of asking what if? Questions. 1. Proactive risk identification, asking what if questions encourage you to think beyond immediate situations and anticipate potential problems before they occur. This helps identify risks that might be overlooked, leading to timely mitigation strategies. 2. Scenario planning and preparedness, you can develop contingency plans and prepare responses for different scenarios by considering various possibilities. This enhances a firm's preparedness and resilience in unexpected events. 3. Improved decision-making, examining potential consequences before making decisions allows for more informed choices, considering their broader impact and possible risks. This leads to more responsible and strategic decision-making. 4. Enhanced creativity and innovation, asking what if promotes creative thinking and encourages exploring alternative solutions. This can lead to innovative approaches to risk mitigation and even unlock new opportunities. Thoroughly review the business plan and ask several what if questions. Ask what if questions, such as, what if the company lost its power supply? What if the company do not have access to the internet? What if the company's vital documents were destroyed? What if the company's premises were damaged or unable to access its premises? What if one of the company's best staff quit? What if the company's suppliers went out of business? What if some area of the company's business is affected by a natural disaster? What if the services required by the company, including access roads and communications, were closed? Asking what if questions is not about predicting the future. It is about expanding the awareness of potential challenges and their implications. There are no perfect answers, but the thought process and discussions sparked by these questions are invaluable for uncovering risks and developing resilience. By asking what if questions, an organization can anticipate potential risks and develop contingency plans. For instance, they should have a crisis communication plan for negative influencer feedback and regularly monitor regulatory changes for timely adjustments. What if? Questions encourage a proactive mindset in risk management, helping organizations prepare for various possibilities and build resilience in uncertainty. They promote thorough risk assessment and contribute to more robust risk mitigation strategies. 3. Root Cause Analysis Root Cause Analysis, RCA, is a systematic process used to identify the underlying causes of problems or issues within an organization. Root Cause Analysis, RCA, is a systematic process of determining an event or situation's underlying causes. It helps to trace the observed symptoms and effects to the root and fundamental causes. It goes beyond addressing immediate symptoms and aims to uncover the essential factors contributing to the issue. By understanding the root cause, an organization can prevent similar incidents from happening again and improve its overall risk management strategy. In risk identification and management, root cause analysis is a valuable tool for understanding the reasons behind risks and incidents, enabling organizations to address the core issues rather than just the symptoms. Importance of root cause analysis 1. Prevents recurrence an organization addresses core issues by addressing the root cause, 
not just treating its symptoms. This significantly reduces the chances of the same problem recurring in the future. 2. Improves risk management, root cause analysis, RCA, helps identify systemic weaknesses and vulnerabilities in the company's processes, allowing her to address them at the source and strengthen a firm's overall risk management framework. 3. Enhances learning and development, investigating root causes promotes learning culture and continuous organizational improvement. By understanding why things go wrong, an organization would identify areas for improvement and implement preventative measures. 4. Promotes effective decision-making, RCA provides valuable insights into the true nature of problems, leading to more informed and targeted decision-making for mitigation and improvement. Examples of root cause analysis in risk management. 1. Product defect, a product recall occurs due to a faulty component. RCA identifies a design flaw in the manufacturing process as the root cause, leading to corrective actions like redesigning the component and implementing stricter quality control measures. 2. Data breach, a hacker gains access to customer information due to a security vulnerability. RCA reveals inadequate employee training on cybersecurity protocols as the root cause, prompting implementing comprehensive training programs and stricter access controls. 3. Project delay, a project suffers delays due to missed deadlines and communication gaps. RCA uncovers unclear project scope and unrealistic timelines as the root cause, leading to improved project planning, communication protocols, and risk management practices. 4. Safety incident, an employee injury occurs in the workplace. RCA identifies insufficient safety training and equipment maintenance as the root cause, resulting in enhanced training, improved equipment maintenance practices, and revised safety protocols. 5. Customer Complaint Customers lodge complaints about poor customer service. RCA reveals inadequate staff training and unclear communication guidelines as the root cause, leading to improved customer service training and communication procedures. Embracing root cause analysis practice helps an organization ensure reactive problem solving, proactively managing risks, improved performance, and a resilient and successful organization. Root cause analysis facilitates a structured and systematic approach to identifying and addressing risks. By understanding the fundamental causes of issues, organizations can develop targeted risk mitigation and prevention strategies, enhancing overall operational resilience. 4. Risk Register A risk register is a comprehensive document used in risk management that centralizes information about identified risks within an organization or for a specific project. It ensures systematic recording, tracking and management of risks throughout a life cycle. A risk register is a crucial tool in risk management, serving as a central repository for recording and monitoring identified risks. It functions as a living document updated regularly throughout the risk management process, providing essential information to make informed decisions about risk mitigation and monitoring their effectiveness. Importance of a risk register 1. Centralized risk information, consolidates identified risks in one place, ensuring visibility and accessibility for all stakeholders involved in risk management. 2. Organized risk assessment, provides a structured format to categorize, prioritize, and evaluate risks based on their severity, likelihood, and potential impact. 3. Enhanced communication, facilitates clear communication of risks and mitigation strategies across the organization, fostering awareness and ownership. 4. Tracking and monitoring, allows for tracking the progress of risk mitigation efforts, monitoring their effectiveness, and making adjustments as needed. 5. Compliance and reporting, supports compliance with regulations and standards requiring documented risk management processes. Components of a risk register The risk register typically includes details such as the nature of the risk, its potential impact, likelihood, and proposed or implemented risk responses. Here are the components of a risk register. 
1. Risk identification, identify a potential risk in a construction project, delays due to inclement weather. 2. Risk description, describe the risk in detail, specifying that adverse weather conditions may cause delays in construction activities. 3. Risk category, categorize the risk under external factors or environmental risks. 4. Risk owner, assign risk management to the project manager or the construction supervisor. 5. Likelihood, assess the likelihood of adverse weather conditions affecting the project from low to high. 6. Impact, assess the impact of delays on the project timeline, budget, and overall success. 7. Risk response, develop a risk response plan, such as building weather contingencies into the project schedule or securing alternative indoor work during adverse weather. 8. Mitigation actions, outline specific actions to reduce the likelihood or impact, such as monitoring weather forecasts and having backup plans for critical activities. 9. Contingency plans, develop contingency plans such as having backup suppliers or resources available in case of project delays. 10. Residual risks, identify and document any remaining risks after implementing risk responses. Benefits of a risk register. 1. Risk identification, continuously update the risk register by identifying new risks and assessing existing ones as the project progresses. 2. Communication, use the risk register as a communication tool to keep stakeholders informed about potential risks and the organization's strategies for managing them. 3. Decision making, refer to the risk register during decision making processes to consider potential risks and their impact on various options. 4. Monitoring and control, regularly review and update the risk register to reflect changes in risk likelihood impact, and the status of implemented risk responses. 5. Reporting, utilize the risk register for reporting purposes, providing executives and project teams with a consolidated view of the organization's risk landscape. 6. Continuous improvement, analyze historical data in the risk register to identify patterns, lessons learned, and areas for continuous improvement in risk management processes. Organizations can effectively identify, prioritize, and manage risks by utilizing a well-maintained risk register, building a more resilient and proactive approach to navigating challenges and achieving their goals. The risk register is a dynamic tool that evolves throughout a project and organization's life cycle. Its structured format enhances the organization's ability to proactively manage risks, make informed decisions, and improve overall resilience and performance. 5. Probability and Risk Impact Matrix A probability and risk impact matrix, also known as a risk matrix or risk assessment matrix, is a visual tool used in risk management to assess and prioritize risks based on their probability and potential impact. It is a visual tool used in risk management to categorize and prioritize risks based on their likelihood of occurring, probability, and the possible consequences of their occurrence, impact. It provides a simple and effective way to communicate risks and guide decision-making regarding mitigation strategies and resource allocation. The matrix helps organizations categorize risks into different levels, enabling them to focus on high-priority risks. The probability is often represented on one axis and the impact on the other, creating a matrix with different risk zones. Importance of a probability and risk impact matrix 1. Visually prioritize risks, plotting risks on a two-dimensional matrix based on probability and impact allows for immediate visual identification of high-priority risks needing urgent attention. 2. Standardized evaluation provides a consistent framework for comparing different risks and objectively prioritizing them based on predefined criteria, reducing subjectivity and bias. 3. Resource allocation, guides the allocation of resources and mitigation efforts towards high impact and likely risks, ensuring optimal utilization of resources for maximum risk reduction. 4. Communication and collaboration, 
facilitates the communication and understanding of risks across different teams and departments, fostering collaboration and alignment in risk management efforts. Components of a probability and risk impact matrix. Probability axis, typically divided into categories like low, medium, and high, representing the likelihood of the risk occurring within a specific period. Impact axis, usually divided into categories like minor, moderate, and severe, reflecting the potential consequences of the risk if it materializes, considering financial, operational, reputational, and other relevant factors. Risk scores, each combination of probability and impact results in a specific risk score, often denoted by color coding, further prioritizing critical risks needing immediate attention. Risk descriptions, each risk entry within the matrix should be accompanied by a brief description providing context and details. Examples of probability and risk impact matrix. Cyber security, a cyber security team uses a PIM to assess the likelihood and potential impact of various cyber threats like data breaches, ransomware attacks, and phishing attempts. High impact and likely threats like data breaches receive immediate attention and resource allocation for robust mitigation strategies. Project management, a project manager utilizes a PIM to prioritize risks like budget overruns, missed deadlines, and technical challenges. Risks with high potential cost impact and high likelihood of occurrence, such as unforeseen material delays, are prioritized for proactive mitigation measures. Business continuity, an organization uses a PIM to assess the probability and impact of potential disruptions like natural disasters, power outages, and supply chain disruptions. High impact disruptions with a moderate likelihood, such as pandemics, prompt proactive contingency planning and resource allocation for business continuity. Product launch, a product development team uses a PIM to evaluate risks like market shifts competitor actions, and manufacturing delays. Risks with a high impact on product success and a high likelihood of occurrence, for example, a competitor launching a similar product earlier, demand immediate attention and strategic adjustments. Investment decisions, investors may use a PIM to assess the potential risks and returns of different investment options. Risks with high potential financial impact and high likelihood such as economic downturns, might dissuade investment. In contrast, high reward but less likely risks require further analysis and mitigation strategies. By effectively utilizing a probability and risk impact matrix, organizations can make informed decisions on risk mitigation and resource allocation, prioritize their efforts towards potential high-impact challenges, and foster a proactive and data-driven approach to risk management, ultimately achieving their goals with greater resilience and security. The probability and risk impact matrix is a valuable tool for organizations to assess and communicate risks visually. It provides a structured approach to prioritize and manage risks, enhancing the overall effectiveness of risk management efforts. 6. The Worst Case Scenario The worst case scenario in risk management refers to the most adverse and severe outcome that could result from a particular risk event. It involves envisioning the most unfavorable circumstances and consequences that may arise if a risk materializes. Understanding the worst case scenario is crucial for organizations as it helps them prepare and implement risk mitigation strategies to minimize the impact of such extreme events. A worst case scenario is the most extreme and adverse outcome in a given situation. While acknowledging the unlikelihood of its full realization, considering the worst case scenario is valuable in risk identification and management. Benefits of the worst case scenario the worst case scenario helps organizations to 1. Identify potential weaknesses, pushing the boundaries of possibility helps uncover underlying vulnerabilities in a company's systems, processes, and preparedness that might go unnoticed. 2. Pushing the boundaries of possibility helps uncover underlying vulnerabilities in a company's systems, processes, and preparedness that might go unnoticed. Three. 
plan for resilience, exploring the potential consequences forces the company to develop robust mitigation strategies and contingency plans, creating a more resilient framework for handling unexpected situations. 4. Promote proactive risk management, shifting focus towards could it happen? And what is the worst that could happen? Encourages a more proactive and preventative approach to risk management. 5. Improve decision making, considering the worst case scenario helps evaluate the potential downsides of various choices, leading to more informed and balanced decision making. However, it is essential to approach worst case scenarios by 1. Avoiding paralysis, dwelling excessively on the worst outcomes can lead to anxiety and hinder necessary action. Utilize it as a tool for planning and preparation, not a source of fear. 2. Maintaining perspective, the worst case scenario is unlikely to materialize, but balance analysis helps in considering more probable outcomes and mitigating them effectively. 3. Open and honest communicate, while transparency is critical, avoid causing undue alarm by focusing solely on the worst case scenario and communication. Share both potential risks and mitigation strategies. Examples of worst case scenarios in risk management Project management, considering the worst case scenario of a complete project failure due to a critical supplier going bankrupt helps identify alternative suppliers and build contingency plans to minimize disruption. Cybersecurity, evaluating the worst case scenario of a significant data breach exposes vulnerabilities in security systems and prompts the implementation of more robust access controls and data encryption measures. Investment, exploring the worst case scenario of a significant market crash helps diversify investment portfolios and develop strategies to navigate economic downturns. Disaster preparedness, planning for the worst case scenario of a natural disaster ensures that effective emergency response plans, resource allocation, and evacuation procedures are in place. Product launch, envisioning the worst case scenario of product recall due to safety concerns leads to rigorous testing, quality control measures, and post-launch monitoring systems. Organizations can take proactive measures to strengthen their resilience and responsiveness by envisioning the worst case scenario. This process involves not only identifying potential risks but also assessing the extreme outcomes associated with those risks. It allows organizations to develop robust contingency plans, implement risk mitigation strategies, and ensure business continuity despite severe challenges. Understanding the worst case scenario is integral to comprehensive risk management, guiding organizations to make informed decisions and allocate resources effectively to prevent or mitigate the most severe consequences of identified risks. Taking the right approach to worst case scenarios can uncover hidden risks, strengthen a firm's preparedness, and navigate challenges more confidently, leading to a more secure and prosperous future. 7. Checklists. A checklist is a simple but incredibly effective tool in risk management. A checklist is a systematic and organized list of items, tasks, or criteria that must be verified, inspected, or accomplished. It is a structured list of items to ensure that all crucial aspects are systematically considered and addressed. In risk management, checklists are reminders and prompts that help identify potential problems, assess their severity, and implement suitable mitigation strategies. In risk identification and management, checklists are valuable tools to ensure that essential steps are taken to identify, assess, and manage risks. They provide a structured approach, helping organizations systematically address potential operational risks. Advantages of Checklists in Risk Identification and Management 1. Standardization, ensures everyone involved in risk management follows the same process, reducing bias and inconsistencies. 2. Completeness, minimizes the risk of overlooking critical elements during risk identification and assessment. 3. Efficiency, saves time and effort by providing a clear structure for managing tasks and decisions. 4. 
communication, a shared reference point for discussions and documentation of risk management activities. 5. Adaptability, can be customized to specific projects, situations, and industry standards. Examples of checklists in risk identification and management. 1. Risk identification checklist, includes prompts like have all relevant stakeholders been consulted? Have industry standard risks been considered? And are there any potential regulatory compliance issues? 2. Risk assessment checklist, guides the evaluation of the each identified risk by assessing its likelihood, impact, and severity, with prompts like how likely is this risk to occur? What are the potential financial consequences? And what is the level of reputational damage this risk could cause? 3. Risk Mitigation Checklist, outlines different mitigation strategies based on the assessed risk, with prompts like can this risk be avoided? Can its impact be minimized? And what controls are needed to address it? 4. Risk Monitoring Checklist, assists in tracking the effectiveness of implemented mitigation measures, with prompts like are controls operating effectively? Has the risk likelihood or impact changed? And do mitigation strategies require adjustments? 5. Project Management Risk Checklist, tailored to specific project phases like planning, execution, and closure, addressing potential risks like budget overruns, delays, resource constraints, and quality issues. Incorporating well-designed and continuously improved checklists into an organization's risk management process can enhance its ability to identify, assess, and mitigate potential threats, ultimately making the company more resilient and prosperous. Checklists provide a practical and efficient way to organize and execute risk identification and management activities. They are valuable tools for ensuring thoroughness, consistency, and transparency in the risk management process, ultimately contributing to the organization's resilience and success. 8. Brainstorming. Gather a diverse group of stakeholders to generate ideas on potential risks. Brainstorming is a creative problem-solving technique used to create many ideas quickly. It encourages open and free-flowing thinking within a group, promoting exploring various perspectives and possibilities. In risk management, brainstorming can be a valuable tool for identifying potential risks that might not be immediately evident. Process of Brainstorming The brainstorming process consists of six stages. Stage 1, Set the Stage Clearly define the objective of the brainstorming session, such as identifying risks associated with a specific project, process, or organizational aspect. This works by assembling a diverse group of stakeholders, including individuals from different departments and levels of expertise. Stage 2, Create a Positive Environment. Emphasize that all ideas are welcome and that there will be no immediate evaluation or criticism. Encourage participants to build on each other's ideas and think creatively. Step 3, Generate Ideas. Participants shout out ideas as they come to mind without overthinking or analyzing. Use techniques like mind mapping, free association, or round robin to stimulate idea generation. Step 4, Document Ideas. Record all ideas on a board, flip chart, or digital platform visible to all participants. Capture ideas verbatim to maintain the integrity of each suggestion. Step 5, Encourage Quantity. Aim for a large number of ideas. Quantity often leads to the discovery of unique or unexpected risks. During a brainstorming session, you must remind the participants that no idea is too small or radical. Step 6, Review and Discuss. Reviewing the list of ideas with the group after the brainstorming session is essential. Group similar ideas together and discuss the potential risks associated with each. Practical example of brainstorming in identifying risks. Let us consider a project management scenario where a team brainstorm the potential risks of launching a new product. The intention is to identify and assess potential risks related to the launch of a new product. The participants comprise a cross-functional team including project managers, marketing specialists, product developers, 
and quality control experts. The brainstorming session would result in ideas generation, including 1. Supply chain disruptions affecting product availability. 2. Inadequate marketing leads to low customer awareness. 3. Quality control issues leading to product recalls. 4. Regulatory hurdles delaying product approval. And 5. Unpredictable market response impacting sales projections. The idea generated must be documented and listed on a whiteboard for everyone to see. Participants must continue to generate ideas, including less apparent risks like potential adverse social media reactions or unforeseen environmental factors affecting product demand. The team must discuss the identified risks, assess their likelihood and potential impact, and prioritize them based on severity. Hence, the brainstorming session helps develop a comprehensive list of possible risks associated with the product launch. The team can then develop strategies to mitigate or manage these risks proactively. By using brainstorming in risk management, organizations tap into the collective intelligence of their teams, ensuring a more thorough exploration of potential risks and fostering a proactive approach to risk identification and mitigation. 9. Brainwriting Brainwriting is a creative problem-solving technique that encourages free thinking and generates many ideas collaboratively. It is an innovative and collaborative technique used to generate ideas within a group. It is an alternative to traditional brainstorming and encourages participants to contribute ideas in a written format rather than verbally. In the context of risk identification and management, Brainwriting can be a powerful tool for collecting diverse perspectives on potential risks and fostering a more inclusive approach to risk identification. While similar to brainstorming, it offers a structured approach that can overcome some drawbacks of traditional brainstorming sessions, such as dominance by specific individuals or self-censorship. Benefits of Brainwriting in Risk Identification and Management 1. Promotes Divergent Thinking the structured format allows everyone to contribute, fostering diverse perspectives and leading to a broader range of ideas. 2. Reduces dominance, individual writing phases minimize bias and ensure everyone can contribute equally. 3. Encourages openness, anonymous contributions can help participants feel more comfortable suggesting unconventional or critical ideas. 4. Improves efficiency, Structured rounds and time limits keep the process focused and prevent unproductive discussions. 5. Supports risk identification, by generating many ideas, brain writing helps uncover potential risks that might otherwise be overlooked. How brain writing works in risk identification and management. 1. Define the focus, clearly state the risk identification objective and specific risk category to be considered. 2. Group formation, assemble diverse individuals with relevant knowledge and perspectives. 3. Individual brainstorming, participants silently write down as many potential risks as possible within a given time frame. 4. Idea exchange, participants pass their paper to the next person, who adds new ideas based on the existing ones. This cycle continues until everyone has reviewed all papers. 5. Group discussion, discuss the generated ideas as a group, clarifying, combining, and prioritizing them. 6. Documentation and analysis, document the identified risks and prioritize them based on their severity and likelihood. Process of brainwriting in risk identification and management. 1. Preparation, distribute a sheet of paper to each participant and ensure they have writing tools available. 2. Introduction of the risk scenario, present the risk scenario or context for which ideas are needed. For example, discuss potential risks associated with a new product launch. 3. Silent idea generation, set a specific time limit, for example, 5 to 10 minutes, for part each. Participants to silently write down as many ideas as possible related to the identified risk scenario on their sheets. 4. Passing and review, 
participants pass their sheets to the person on their right or left after the initial writing period. The receiver reviews the ideas already written and builds upon them or generates new ideas based on the provided context. 5. Repeat rounds, repeat the process for multiple rounds, with participants continuously building on and expanding the ideas presented by their peers. 6. Group discussion, after several rounds, facilitate a group discussion to share and explore the generated ideas, allowing participants to discuss and refine the potential risks collaboratively. Brain writing helps develop the team's collective creativity to generate a broad range of potential risks and fosters a more comprehensive risk identification and management approach. It is beneficial in scenarios where diverse perspectives and quiet participation are essential for a comprehensive risk management approach. 10. Interviews. Conduct one-on-one -on -one or group interviews with employees, managers, and stakeholders to gather insights. Interviews are valuable for identifying organizational risks because they offer a human element that other methods might lack. In risk management, interviews involve engaging with key individuals within an organization to gather insights, perspectives, and information about potential risks. This method allows for a more personalized and in-depth understanding of various aspects of the organization, uncovering risks that may not be apparent through other means. Types of interviews 1. Structured interviews, use predefined questions to gather consistent information from multiple individuals on specific areas of risk, for example, information technology, IT, security, operational hazards. 2. Semi-structured interviews, combine prepared questions with open-ended prompts to delve deeper into individual experiences and concerns. 3. Unstructured interviews, allow free-flowing discussions to explore emerging themes and uncover unexpected risks. Interviews in Risk Management 1. Identifying key stakeholders, determine which individuals or groups possess valuable information regarding potential risks. 2. Structured interview process, develop a set of standardized questions to ensure consistency across interviews. Ensure that questions cover various aspects of the organization, from operational processes to cultural factors. 3. Selecting interviewees, choose interviewees from different levels and departments within the organization to obtain diverse perspectives. 4. Conducting interviews, schedule one-on-one -on -one or group interviews to discuss potential risks. Encourage open communication and assure interviewees that their input is valuable. 5. Recording insights, document responses, paying attention to specific details, examples, and potential risk scenarios provided by interviewees. 6. Analyzing responses, analyze the collected information to identify recurring themes, patterns, and areas of concern raised by multiple interviewees. 7. Integration with other methods, combine interview findings with data from other risk identification methods for a comprehensive understanding. Practical example of interviews for risk identification and management. Consider a scenario where a project manager conducts interviews to identify risks associated with a new software development project. The objective is to identify potential hazards that could impact the successful completion of a software development project. The stakeholders include development team members, project sponsors, product owners, and end users. The structured interview questions might include, 1. What challenges have you encountered in similar projects? 2. Are there any external factors that could impact project timelines or requirements? And, 3. How would you rate the team's current level of collaboration and communication? Organizations can gather first-hand information, perspectives, and examples by conducting interviews, contributing to a richer understanding of potential risks and enabling more targeted and effective risk management strategies. The interview process might include conducting one-on-one -on -one interviews with each team member and critical stakeholders and hosting a group interview with representatives from different departments involved in the project. Document responses, noting potential delays due to unclear requirements, external dependencies, 
and communication gaps between development and testing teams. The responses must be analyzed to identify common themes, such as a lack of clarity in project requirements and potential bottlenecks in the testing phase, and highlight areas where multiple interviewees expressed similar concerns, indicating potential high priority risks. Moreover, it is essential to cross reference interview findings with data from project documentation, risk registers, and other risk identification tools to ensure a comprehensive risk assessment. The interviews would provide nuanced insights into specific challenges and potential risks unique to the software development project. The project manager must prioritize the risks and develop strategies to mitigate or manage them effectively. 11. Document Review Document review involves systematically examining existing documents within an organization to identify potential risks. This method allows for extracting valuable information related to processes, procedures, contracts, and other written materials that may contain clues about risks. Document reviews are a powerful tool for proactively identifying risks within an organization. By analyzing various documents and records, the organization can identify possible vulnerabilities, hazards, and compliance issues before they manifest into actual problems. What documents to review? Here are so many of the essential documents for review to identify risks in an organization. 1. Strategic plans and objectives, analyze organizational goals and aspirations to identify potential risks hindering achievement. 2. Policies, procedures, and guidelines, assess whether established measures adequately address relevant risks and highlight improvement areas. 3. Financial statements and budgets, review financial data to identify risks, such as over-reliance on specific customers or potential cash flow issues. 4. Project plans and reports, analyze project documentation to identify potential delays, budget overruns, and technical challenges. Incident reports and safety records, examine past incidents and near misses to understand recurring issues and improve risk mitigation strategies. 5. Customer complaints and feedback, analyze customer feedback to identify potential risks related to product quality, service delivery, and satisfaction. 6. Industry reports and regulations, review industry publications and regulatory updates to identify emerging risks and ensure compliance with changing standards. Critical Benefits of Document Review Here are the critical benefits of document reviews for risk management. 1. Proactive identification of potential issues. 2. Cost-effective and readily available method. 3. Provides historical context and trends. 4. Helps comply with regulations and standards. 5. Proactive identification of potential issues. 6. Cost effective and readily available method. 7. Provides historical context and trends. And 8. Helps comply with regulations and standards. Document Review Process for Risk Identification and Management Document reviews consist of six steps. 1. Selecting relevant documents, identify documents likely to contain information about processes, workflows, contracts, policies, and historical data relevant to the organization's operations. 2. Creating a document review team. Assemble a team responsible for conducting the document review, ensuring members have expertise in different aspects of the organization. 3. Establishing review criteria, develop criteria for assessing documents, including indicators of potential risks, vulnerabilities, or areas of concern. 4. Systematic review process, systematically review selected documents, highlighting details that may indicate current or potential risks. Look for inconsistencies, outdated information, and gaps in processes. 5. Documenting findings, record findings in a structured manner, noting specific sections or clauses that raise concerns. Include details about the document's source publication date, and relevance to the organization's operations. 
6. Integration with other methods, combine insights from document reviews with data gathered from interviews, brainstorming sessions, and other risk identification methods to create a comprehensive risk profile. By systematically reviewing documents, organizations can uncover valuable information that may not be readily apparent through other means. This method complements other risk identification techniques, providing a more holistic view of potential risks within the organization. Incorporating document reviews into a firm's risk management strategy helps gain valuable insights, anticipate potential problems, and proactively mitigate risks before they harm the organization. However, combining document reviews with other risk identification methods like interviews, data analysis, and industry research is crucial to understanding a risk landscape comprehensively. 12. SWOT Analysis SWOT analysis means strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis that reveals potential risks. It assesses internal strengths and weaknesses and external opportunities and threats. SWOT analysis is a strategic planning tool used to identify and evaluate an organization's internal strengths and weaknesses and external opportunities and threats. It provides a holistic view of the organization's position, allowing for better decision-making and risk management. Strengths entail internal attributes and resources that give an organization a competitive advantage. A strength in having a highly skilled and experienced risk management team can help the organization proactively identify and address potential risks before they escalate. Weaknesses include internal factors that may hinder the organization's performance or expose it to risks. A weakness in outdated or inefficient risk assessment processes may lead to oversight or inadequate identification of emerging risks. Opportunities include external factors or situations the organization can leverage for benefit. An opportunity may arise from technological advancements, allowing the organization to implement more sophisticated risk monitoring and mitigation tools. Threats are external factors that could negatively impact the organization and pose risks. A threat could be increased competition in the market, leading to the need for the organization to adapt its risk management strategies to stay competitive. Practical Examples of SWOT Analysis Consider a practical example of a manufacturing company using SWOT analysis for risk management. The company's strengths include a skilled workforce with expertise in risk identification and management, robust internal control systems and regular audits. The company's weaknesses include outdated risk assessment tools and processes and limited communication between departments regarding emerging risks. The company's opportunities include integrating advanced risk management software and collaborating with industry experts for risk workshops. The company's threats include increasing competition from new entrants in the market and fluctuations in raw material prices impacting production costs. Risk Management Implications of SWOT Analysis SWOT analysis is a good way of identifying G risks in an organization. The strength of having a skilled workforce allows the organization to conduct comprehensive risk assessments, minimizing the likelihood of overlooking potential threats. The weakness in outdated risk assessment tools highlights the need for investment in updated technology to enhance the accuracy and efficiency of risk identification. Integrating advanced risk management software provides a chance to improve overall risk visibility and response capabilities. The threat of increasing competition emphasizes the importance of regularly reassessing risk strategies to stay ahead in the market and adapt to changing conditions. By applying SWOT analysis to risk management, organizations can strategically align their internal capabilities with external factors, fostering a proactive and comprehensive approach to identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks. 13. Assumptions Analysis Assumptions analysis is a process in risk management that involves identifying, documenting, and assessing the validity of assumptions made during project planning or decision making. Assumptions are beliefs or conditions taken for granted or accepted as accurate without direct verification. In risk management, analyzing assumptions is crucial because if they prove incorrect, they can introduce risks that may impact the project or organization. 
Assumptions analysis is a vital step in risk identification and management, involving examining underlying suppositions, beliefs, or expectations upon which the firm's plans, decisions, or projects are based. It helps uncover potential risks associated with inaccurate or invalid assumptions, empowering the organization to make informed decisions and proactively manage unexpected challenges. Importance of Assumptions Analysis in Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifies Hidden Risks Many risks stem from implicit assumptions that go unexamined. An organization can assess its potential impact and develop mitigation strategies for improved performance. 2. Improves decision-making, analyzing assumptions encourages a firm to consider alternative scenarios and potential obstacles, leading to more informed and resilient choices. 3. Enhances transparency and communication, explicitly stating assumptions fosters clarity and reduces stakeholder misunderstandings, promoting alignment and collaboration. 4. Proactive risk management, identifying and addressing potential issues based on assumptions enables an organization to anticipate and manage risks before they materialize, leading to improved project outcomes. Examples of Assumptions Analysis in Risk Management Project Management, analyzing assumptions about project scope, resource availability, and timelines helps identify risks like budget overruns, delays, and quality issues if these assumptions prove inaccurate. Product Development, examining assumptions about market demand, competitor actions, and technology. Orgy Advancements helps manage risks associated with product failure delayed launches, or unexpected costs. Investment decisions, analyzing assumptions about economic forecasts, company performance, and regulatory changes helps identify potential financial risks and inform more balanced investment decisions. Cybersecurity, examining assumptions about system security, user behavior, and threat vulnerabilities helps identify potential data breaches, cyber attacks, and system disruptions. Business continuity planning, analyzing assumptions about disaster response capabilities, resource availability, and recovery time frames helps manage risks associated with disruptions and ensure operational continuity during unexpected events. How to conduct assumptions analysis. 1. Identify critical assumptions, list all key assumptions underlying the organization's plans, decisions, or projects. 2. Assess likelihood and impact. Evaluate the likelihood of each assumption being inaccurate and the potential consequences of such an event. 3. Develop mitigation strategies for critical assumptions with higher risk potential. Outline strategies to monitor their validity, minimize their impact, or identify alternative approaches. 4. Monitor and update, regularly revisit the assumptions analysis as circumstances change and update strategies appropriately. Assumptions analysis process for risk identification and management. Consider the assumptions analysis process using a construction project. 1. Identify assumptions, a construction project assumption might be that regulatory approvals for building permits will be obtained within a specified time frame. Two. Document assumptions, document the assumption in project documentation, such as the project plan or risk register. 3. Assumption validation, validate the assumption by reviewing available data, consulting experts, or conducting feasibility studies to ensure it is reasonable and likely to hold. 4. Assumption impact assessment, assess the potential impact on the project if the assumption proves false. For example, for regulatory approvals, the impact could include delays, additional costs, or changes in project scope. 5. Risk identification, if the assumption is identified as high risk due to uncertainty or external factors, it becomes a critical risk that should be managed. 6. Risk response planning, develop risk response plans to address the identified risks associated with assumptions. 
In the regulatory approvals case, a contingency plan might involve parallel permitting processing or early communication with regulatory bodies. Incorporating assumptions analysis into a firm's risk management practices helps to understand potential challenges better, make informed decisions, and proactively manage risks for a more secure and prosperous future. Assumptions analysis is a valuable component of risk management that helps organizations mitigate uncertainties and MAC e informed decisions. By systematically assessing and validating assumptions, teams can enhance their ability to anticipate and address potential risks, contributing to successful project outcomes. 14. Inspection. Inspections are a systematic and structured method for identifying and evaluating potential risks through physical observation and data collection. They examine physical conditions, processes, procedures, and documentation to ensure compliance with standards, regulations, and established safety protocols. Inspections play a vital role in preventive risk management as they help uncover hazards and vulnerabilities before they lead to incidents or accidents. Inspection in the context of risk identification and management refers to a systematic examination or review of various elements within a project, process, or system to identify potential risks, issues, or deviations from established standards. Inspections are often used to assess an organization's operations quality, compliance, and effectiveness. In risk management, inspections can uncover risks by identifying areas where processes may fall short or vulnerabilities exist. The importance of inspections in risk management. 1. Proactive hazard identification, inspections enable physical observation and assessment of potential hazards and vulnerabilities that might be overlooked in theoretical risk assessments. 2. Verification of controls, inspections prove whether implemented controls effectively mitigate identified risks. 3. Compliance assurance, regular inspections help ensure adherence to relevant regulations, standards, and internal policies, reducing legal and reputational risks. 4. Continuous improvement, observations and inspection findings inform corrective actions and improvements to existing risk management processes. 5. Data-driven decision-making, inspection data allows an organization to prioritize resources effectively and focus on areas with the highest risk potential. Advantages of inspection in risk management. 1. Early risk identification, inspections enable early identification of potential risks or issues before they escalate. 2. Process improvement, findings from inspections can inform process improvements, reducing the likelihood of future risks and enhancing overall operational efficiency. 3. Compliance assurance, inspections help ensure compliance with industry standards, regulations, and internal policies, reducing legal and regulatory risks. 4. Data-driven decision-making, inspection findings provide data for informed decision-making in risk management, allowing organizations to prioritize and address risks strategically. 5. Continuous monitoring, regular inspections contribute to continuous monitoring of processes, allowing organizations to adapt and respond to changing circumstances and emerging risks. Process of inspection in risk identification and management. 1. Define inspection objectives, CLEAL. Why articulate the inspection objectives, such as ensuring compliance with safety standards, identifying process inefficiencies, or uncovering potential risks. 2. Select inspection criteria, define specific criteria or standards against which the inspection will be conducted. These criteria serve as benchmarks for evaluating the inspected elements. 3. Conduct the inspection, physically or systematically examine the relevant components, processes, or documents to determine their compliance with the established criteria. 4. Document findings, record and document the inspection findings, noting any deviations, weaknesses, or potential risks identified during the process. 5. 
risk assessment, evaluates the identified deviations or weaknesses to assess their impact on project objectives and determine whether they pose a risk to the organization. 6. Prioritize risks, prioritize identified risks based on their significance, likelihood, and potential impact on project success. 7. Develop risk response plans, develop plans to address and mitigate the identified risks. This may involve process improvements, corrective actions, or preventive measures. Incorporating well-designed and effectively conducted inspections into a firm's risk management strategy. This helps to improve the company's ability to identify, assess, and mitigate potential threats. Inspections play a vital role in risk management by providing organizations valuable insights into their operations. Whether examining manufacturing processes, project activities, or compliance with safety standards, inspections contribute to identifying and mitigating potential risks, ultimately improving overall organizational resilience and success. 15. Process Planning or Flowchart Process mapping, also known as flowcharting, is a visual representation of a sequence of steps or activities involved in a process. It illustrates the flow of information, materials, or activities through a system, helping to identify and understand the various components and interactions within a process. In risk identification and management, process mapping or flow charting is a valuable tool for visualizing potential points of failure, bottlenecks, or inefficiencies, which can lead to identifying associated risks. A process map visually represents a specific process, outlining the steps involved, the actors or departments responsible, and the flow of information and materials. It can be detailed or high level depending on the organization's needs. A flowchart is a specific type of process map that uses symbols and arrows to represent the steps, decisions, and flow of information within a process. It is often used to depict decision-making logic and conditional branches. Advantages of Process Mapping in Risk Management 1. Visual Understanding provides a visual representation of the entire process, enhancing understanding and communication. 2. Identification of inefficiency IES, highlights potential bottlenecks, redundancies, or inefficiencies within the process. 3. Risk visibility, enables the identification and visualization of potential risks associated with each process step. 4. Root Cause Analysis, facilitates root cause analysis by visually tracing the flow of activities and inputs. 5. Process Optimization, serves as a basis for process optimization efforts by identifying areas for improvement. 6. Training and Onboarding, training new personnel by providing a step-by-step -step visual guide to the process. Both process maps and flowcharts are valuable tools for identifying potential risks, but they are not a substitute for further analysis and risk assessment. By effectively employing process mapping and flowcharts, you can better understand processes, uncover hidden risks, and make informed decisions to mitigate them, ultimately building a more resilient and secure organization. Process mapping or flow charting is a valuable technique for risk identification and management, allowing organizations to gain insights into the intricacies of their processes and proactively address potential risks. It enhances transparency, facilitates communication, and is a foundation for continuous improvement initiatives. 16. Delphi Technique the Delphi Technique is a structured and iterative method for collecting and distilling knowledge from a group of experts to make informed decisions or predictions. It is a structured communication method designed to reach a consensus among experts on a specific issue through multiple rounds of anonymous questionnaires and feedback. In risk identification and management, the Delphi Technique is often used to gather expert opinions and insights on potential risks and uncertainties associated with a project or decision. It helps reach a consensus or convergence of views among a diverse and geographically dispersed group of experts. It is a structured communication method to gather expert opinions and reach a consensus on a particular issue. The Delphi Technique Objectives for Risk Identification and Management 
1. Uncover hidden risks, encourages diverse perspectives and identifies potential risks that might not be readily apparent through individual assessments. 2. Prioritize risks effectively, facilitates agreement on the relative importance and severity of various risks, aiding in strategically allocating resources and mitigation efforts. 3. Enhance communication and collaboration, creates a platform for communication and knowledge sharing among experts, fostering a shared understanding of risks and potential solutions. Key features of the Delphi technique 1. Anonymity Experts provide their opinions anonymously, reducing social pressure and encouraging honest and unbiased responses. 2. Multiple rounds, participants respond to questionnaires in several rounds, receiving insights from others' answers in subsequent rounds. This allows them to refine their initial judgments and converge towards a consensus. 3. Facilitator, a facilitator guides the process, designing questionnaires, collecting responses, and summarizing group insights for feedback. Benefits of the Delphi Technique in Risk Management 1. Diverse perspectives, captious expertise from various areas, offering a comprehensive understanding of risks. 2. Structured approach, reduces bias and systematically considers all relevant aspects. 3. Data-driven decision-making, provides solid evidence for prioritizing and mitigating risks based on informed consensus. 4. Risk prioritization, facilitates ranking of risks based on severity, likelihood, and potential impact. 5. Enhanced communication, creates expert communication and knowledge sharing platform. Advantages of the Delphi Technique in Risk Management 1. Expert consensus, facilitates the creation of a consensus among a diverse group of experts, ensuring a well-rounded perspective. 2. Anonymity, anonymity encourages honest and unbiased responses, reducing the impact of personal opinions or power dynamics. 3. Iterative process, the iterative nature allows for the refinement of opinions, promoting convergence toward a shared understanding. Four. Geographical dispersion, enables collaboration among geographically dispersed experts to overcome logistics challenges. 5. Reduced groupthink, minimizes the potential for groupthink, as experts independently contribute their insights before group discussions. 6. Efficient decision-making, provides a structured and efficient method for reaching decisions or identifying risks particularly in complex and uncertain environments. Critical Steps in the Delphi Technique 1. Formation of Expert Panel Identify and invite experts with diverse knowledge and perspectives relevant to the topic under consideration. 2. Generation of Questions or Issues Develop a set of open-ended questions or issues related to the subject matter for the experts to address. 3. Anonymous Individual Responses Distribute the questions to the experts, who provide their responses independently and anonymously. Collate and summarize the responses without revealing the identities of the experts. 4. Feedback and iteration, share the summarized responses with the experts. Experts provide additional feedback, and the process is iteratively repeated with multiple rounds to derive diverse opinions. 5. Consensus building, analyze the responses, identify areas of agreement or divergence, and work toward building consensus among the experts. 6. Conclusion and reporting, summarize the outcomes and conclusions based on the expert input. Provide a comprehensive report or recommendations derived from the Delphi process. By iteratively gathering and refining expert opinions, the Delphi technique can bring valuable insights to light and inform robust risk management practices. The Delphi technique's iterative and anonymous nature H helps minimize the influence of dominant personalities, encourages diverse perspectives, and fosters a collaborative approach to risk identification and management. It promotes collaboration, reduces biases, and helps organizations make informed decisions based on a collective and comprehensive understanding of risks. 
It is precious in complex and uncertain situations where expert input is crucial for informed decision making. 17. Competitor Analysis Analyzing competitors helps identify industry-specific risks that may also apply to an organization. Competitor analysis evaluates and understands competitors' strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWOT, in the same industry. Conducting a thorough competitor analysis in risk management can provide valuable insights into industry-specific challenges and potential risks that may affect an organization. Competitor analysis examines a company's competitors to understand its strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths, what are their advantages in terms of products, services, marketing, and brand? Weaknesses, where do they struggle? Are there areas where they are vulnerable? Opportunities, what new markets or trends are they pursuing? What potential threats do these pose? Threats, what are their plans and capabilities that could negatively impact the business? You gain valuable insights into the competitive landscape by analyzing the company's competitors. This helps a firm identify potential risks and opportunities relevant to the organization. Benefits of Competitor Analysis for Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifying market risks, by observing trends the competitors are responding to, the company can anticipate potential threats that might affect your business. 2. Understanding competitive threats, assessing the firm's competitors' capabilities, offerings, and marketing strategies helps identify threats to the company's market share and revenue. 3. Anticipating regulatory changes, monitoring how competitors navigate regulatory changes or industry standards enables the organization to prepare for them and mitigate associated risks. 4. Learning from competitor mistakes, analyzing their failures or challenges helps the company avoid similar pitfalls. Competitor Analysis in Risk Management here are the six steps in analyzing competitors for risk identification and management purposes. 1. Identifying key competitors, identify the main competitors in the industry or market relevant to the organization. 2. Gathering information, collect and analyze information on competitors' financial performance, market share, customer feedback, and strategic initiatives. 3. SWOT Analysis Conduct a SWOT analysis for each competitor to understand their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. 4. Risk identification, identify risks associated with competitors' weaknesses and threats they face in the market. 5. Strategic initiatives, analyze competitors' strategic initiatives, as these may indicate areas where they anticipate or are already experiencing challenges. Six. Benchmarking, compare the organization's risk management practices with those of competitors to identify gaps and areas that require improvement. Competitor analysis is not just about copying the competitors. It is about using their insights to inform a firm's strategy and stay ahead of potential risks. By conducting competitor analysis in the context of risk management, organizations can proactively identify industry-specific risks, anticipate challenges, and tailor their risk mitigation strategies accordingly. This approach helps ensure that risk management practices are well aligned with the competitive landscape dynamics. 18. Regulatory Compliance Review a regulatory compliance review systematically evaluates an organization's adherence to relevant laws, regulations, and industry standards. It aims to identify potential areas of non-compliance and mitigate associated risks by taking corrective actions. A regulatory compliance review systematically assesses an organization's adherence to relevant laws, regulations, and industry standards. It is a process to ensure that the organization complies with the various rules and requirements governing its operations. In risk management, a regulatory compliance review helps identify potential legal and regulatory risks that might arise from non-compliance. Benefits of Regulatory Compliance Reviews for Risk Identification and Management 1. 
proactive risk identification, scrutinizing the company's practices against regulations helps uncover potential vulnerabilities and non-compliance issues before they escalate into penalties or reputational damage. 2. Improved legal and regulatory adherence, compliance reviews ensure the organization operates within legal boundaries, minimizing legal risks and potential fines. 3. Enhanced risk management practices, the review process strengthens a firm's risk management framework by highlighting areas for improvement and refining mitigation strategies. 4. Stronger stakeholder confidence, demonstrating compliance fosters trust with investors, customers, and regulatory bodies. Regulatory Compliance Review in Risk Management 1. Identifying applicable regulations, determine the key regulations, laws, and standards that apply to the industry and operations of the organization. 2. Creating a compliance team, form a team with members from legal, compliance, and relevant operational departments to conduct the review. 3. Reviewing documentation, examine existing documentation, policies, and procedures to ensure they align with current regulations. 4. Assessing processes, evaluate operational processes to verify that they comply with legal and regulatory requirements. 5. Monitoring changes, keep abreast of regulation changes impacting the organization. 6. Corrective actions, identify and implement corrective actions for areas where non-compliance is detected. Practical examples of regulatory compliance review. A pharmaceutical company conducts a compliance review to ensure all drug trials adhere to good clinical practice GCP, guidelines. This identifies data integrity issues and prompts corrective actions to prevent potential regulatory sanctions. A financial institution reviews to evaluate compliance with anti-money laundering AML, regulations. This needs to be improved in customer onboarding procedures, leading to stricter verification measures to mitigate financial crime risks. A technology company reviews its data security practices against General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, requirements. This reveals data storage and access control gaps, prompting them to strengthen cybersecurity measures and protect user privacy. By regularly conducting regulatory compliance reviews, organizations can proactively identify and address potential risks associated with non-compliance. This helps avoid legal consequences and builds a robust risk management framework aligned with the regulatory environment. Compliance is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. Continuously monitoring regulatory changes and updating a firm's compliance program is essential. 19. Technology Assessment A technology assessment systematically evaluates an organization's technology infrastructure, systems, and processes to gauge its efficiency, security, and alignment with business goals. In risk management, a technology assessment helps identify potential risks associated with the organization's technological capabilities and vulnerabilities. Technology assessment aims to inform decision-making by comprehensively understanding the risks and opportunities related to a technology. This is crucial for organizations considering adopting new technologies, policymakers evaluating the potential impact of emerging technologies, and individuals trying to make informed choices about their technology use. Technology assessment in risk management here are the steps involved in technology assessments for risk identification and management. 1. Scope definition, define the scope of the technology assessment, specifying the systems, applications, and processes to be evaluated. 2. Establishing assessment criteria, develop criteria for evaluating technology, including security measures, system reliability, scalability, and compliance with relevant regulations. 3. Assessing current technology landscape, evaluate the existing technology infrastructure, including hardware, software, networks, and databases. 4. 
identifying vulnerabilities, conduct security assessments to identify vulnerabilities that could pose risks, such as potential points of unauthorized access, data breaches, or system failures. 5. Scalability and Performance Assessment Evaluate the scalability and performance of technology systems to ensure they can meet current and future business needs. 6. Compliance Review Assess technology systems for compliance with industry regulations, data protection laws, and cybersecurity standards. 7. Employee Training Evaluation Evaluate the effectiveness of training programs for employees using technology to ensure a knowledgeable and security-aware workforce. Benefits of Technology Assessments for Risk Management 1. Proactive Identification of Potential Issues Before investing in and adopting a technology, it is essential to understand potential downsides and take steps to mitigate them. 2. Informed decision-making, assessments provide data and analysis to support objective and balanced decisions about technology use. 3. Stakeholder engagement, involvement of diverse stakeholders ensures broader perspectives and helps address societal concerns. 4. Building trust and transparency, open communication about technology's potential risks and benefits fosters trust with users and the public. Technology assessment is an ongoing process. As technologies evolve and their applications expand, it's crucial to continuously assess and manage associated risks to ensure responsible and sustainable development. Organizations can proactively identify and address potential risks associated with their technological infrastructure by conducting regular technology assessments. This helps maintain the integrity, security, and efficiency of technology systems, reducing the likelihood of disruptions and enhancing overall risk management capabilities. 20. Environmental Scan An environmental scan is a strategic management process involving systematically collecting and analyzing information about external factors and trends that could impact an organization. It is a systematic process of gathering and analyzing information about the internal and external environment in which an organization operates. In risk management, an environmental scan helps identify potential risks arising from changes in the external environment, enabling organizations to adapt and respond proactively. It aims to identify potential risks and opportunities that could impact the organization's current plans. It is like taking a snapshot of the landscape around an organization to understand what might influence the company's operations, finances, reputation, and overall success. Why is an environmental scan necessary for risk identification and management? 1. Proactive approach. By anticipating potential threats and opportunities early, an organization can make informed decisions and take preventative measures before adversely impacting the company. 2. Comprehensive understanding. Analyzing internal and external factors gives the company a holistic view of potential risks, offering a more profound knowledge than focusing solely on internal issues. 3. Improved decision-making, a clear picture of the environment enables an organization to allocate resources effectively and make strategic choices considering potential impacts. 4. Enhanced risk awareness, regular scans foster a culture of risk awareness within the organization, encouraging employees to identify and report potential issues. How to conduct an environmental scan? 1. Define the scope. Determine what areas the company want to assess, such as industry trends, competitor activities, political landscape, technological advancements, or internal strengths and weaknesses. 2. Identifying key external factors, identify and categorize critical external factors, including economic, political, social, technological, environmental, and legal, pestle analysis. 3. Collecting relevant data. Collect data related to each external factor, including market trends, industry developments, geopolitical events, and emerging technologies. 4. Analyzing trends. Analyze trends and patterns within each external factor to understand their potential impact on the organization. 5. 
Scenario planning, use scenario planning to anticipate future scenarios based on the identified trends and external factors. 6. Identifying risks, assess the risks associated with each potential scenario, considering the likelihood and potential impact on the organization. 7. Strategic alignment, align the organization's strategies and risk management practices with the identified external factors to enhance resilience. Organizations can enhance their risk management capabilities by anticipating and preparing for external threats by conducting environmental scans. This proactive approach allows for strategic alignment and better resilience in a dynamic and evolving business environment. Incorporating regular environmental scans into a firm's risk management framework helps proactively identify and mitigate potential threats, maximize opportunities, and ensure the company's long-term success. The environment constantly changes, hence the need for organizations to do environmental scanning frequently to identify and manage emerging risks. 21. Financial Analysis Financial analysis evaluates a firm's financial statements, ratios, and performance metrics to ascertain the company's financial health and make informed business decisions. Financial analysis is crucial in risk management for identifying potential financial risks and vulnerabilities that may impact the organization. Financial analysis plays a vital role in identifying and managing organizational risks. Examining various economic data and ratios provides insights into an organization's financial health, stability, and potential vulnerabilities. How does financial analysis help with risk identification and management? 1. Identifying financial risks, analyzing financial statements, cash flow, and debt levels can uncover potential risks like liquidity risks, credit risks, and profitability risks. 2. Assessing financial performance, evaluating revenue, expenses, and profitability trends helps understand past performance and predict future risks. 3. Benchmarking against industry peers, comparing financial ratios with competitors can reveal areas of strength and weakness, highlighting potential risks compared to industry standards. 4. Supporting strategic decision making. Financial analysis informs sound business decisions by evaluating the financial implications of potential investments, projects, and expansion plans. 5. Improving forecasting and budgeting, analyzing historical data and trends enables more accurate budgeting and forecasting, helping anticipate and mitigate potential financial risks. Examples of using financial analysis for risk identification and management. A startup identifies cash flow risks, by analyzing its burn rate and available funding, it realizes the business needs to adjust its spending or secure additional financing before running out of cash. A retail chain assesses inventory risk, analyzing inventory turnover and carrying costs helps them identify slow-moving products and optimize inventory levels, reducing the risk of obsolescence and overstocking. A manufacturing company evaluates debt risk, analyzing their debt-to-equity ratio and interest coverage ratio helps them understand their ability to manage debt and potential risks associated with rising interest rates. A tech company benchmarks against competitors, comparing their profit margins and research and development, R&D, spending with industry leaders helps them identify potential risks regarding their competitive edge and resource allocation. A healthcare organization forecasts future expenses, analyzing trends in medical costs and patient volumes helps them predict future budgetary needs and plan for potential cost increases or reimbursement changes. Organizations can identify and assess potential risks by conducting thorough financial analysis, enabling them to make informed decisions and implement risk mitigation strategies. This approach contributes to the overall risk management framework, helping organizations maintain economic stability and resilience. 22. Market Research Financial analysis evaluates an organization's financial statements, ratios, and performance metrics to assess its financial health and make informed business decisions. 
Economic analysis is crucial in risk management for identifying potential financial risks and vulnerabilities that may impact the organization. Market research is vital in identifying and managing organizational risks. Market research helps secure data or information on threats and opportunities to make informed decisions and effectively navigate the business landscape. Examples of using market research for risk identification and management. A clothing company identifies a shift in customer preferences, through surveys and focus groups, they discover a growing demand for sustainable fashion. They adapt their product line and marketing strategy to cater to this trend, mitigating the risk of losing customers to competitors who have already embraced sustainability. A restaurant chain assesses a new competitor, by analyzing its menu offerings, pricing, and marketing strategy, it identifies a potential risk of losing market share in a specific geographic area. They implement targeted promotions and adjust their menu to differentiate themselves and maintain customer loyalty. A technology startup evaluates the impact of a new regulation, market research helps them understand the potential impact of upcoming data privacy regulations on their business model and user base. They proactively implement compliance measures to mitigate legal risks and maintain user trust. An online retailer forecasts holiday season demand, by analyzing past sales data and market trends, they can more accurately predict demand for specific products and optimize inventory levels, reducing the risk of stockouts and lost sales opportunities. A financial services company assesses the potential for a new product launch, market research helps them understand customer needs, competitor offerings, and potential regulatory hurdles. They use these insights to refine their product development and launch strategy, minimizing product failure or market rejection risks. How does market research help you with risk identification and management? 1. Identifying customer trends and preferences, understanding an organization's needs, wants, and buying behaviors can help identify potential risks associated with product offerings, pricing strategies, and marketing campaigns that don't align with their expectations. 2. Assessing competitor threats, analyzing the competitor's strengths, weaknesses, and marketing strategies can help identify risks related to losing market share, facing aggressive competition, or being outpaced by innovation. 3. Evaluating industry trends and regulations, understanding emerging trends, technological advancements, and regulatory changes can help an organization anticipate risks of being left behind, facing unexpected compliance challenges, or missing out on new opportunities. 4. Supporting strategic decision-making, market research provides insights and information about product development, pricing, marketing, expansion plans, and resource allocation to mitigate risks. 5. Improving forecasting and budgeting, by understanding market trends and customer demand, organizations can make more accurate forecasts about future sales, revenue, and expenses to manage resources and financial risks effectively. Market research is an ongoing process. Regularly conduct research to stay updated on market changes and customer preferences. Different research techniques can be used for market research, depending on an organization's needs and resources. Surveys, focus groups, interviews, competitor analysis, and data analytics can be integrated to ensure a robust market research process. This facilitates combining market research with risk management tools like financial analysis, scenario planning, and internal audits for a comprehensive approach. Utilize the insights from market research to make informed decisions, adapt strategies, and mitigate potential risks. Organizations can identify and assess potential risks by conducting financial analysis to provide a sound risk management practice. This approach contributes to the overall risk management framework, helping organizations maintain economic stability and resilience. 23. Scenario Analysis the scenario analysis technique evaluates how different future scenarios may impact an organization. 
It helps identify potential risks and opportunities by considering various plausible future events and their consequences. Scenario analysis is particularly useful for understanding the potential impact of uncertainties and developing strategies to mitigate or capitalize on them. It is a powerful tool for proactive risk identification and management. It involves envisioning and analyzing scenarios the organization might encounter, allowing a firm to anticipate potential challenges and opportunities to develop contingency plans. Examples of using scenario analysis for risk identification and management. A retail chain analyzes different economic scenarios. They consider scenarios of recession, inflation, and rising interest rates, identifying potential risks to their sales and profit margins. They develop contingency plans, such as adjusting inventory levels, optimizing supply chains, and offering flexible payment options to customers. A pharmaceutical company analyzes the impact of a new competitor, they explore scenarios where the competitor launches a similar product, undercuts their pricing, or engages in aggressive marketing campaigns. They develop mitigation strategies, such as improving product differentiation, investing in research and development, and offering loyalty programs to customers. A technology company assesses the risks of a cyber attack, they analyze scenarios of data breaches, ransomware attacks, and service disruptions. They implement cybersecurity measures, train employees, and develop recovery plans to minimize the impact of such attacks. A government agency analyzes potential natural disasters, they consider scenarios of floods, earthquakes, and pandemics, identifying risks to infrastructure, public safety, and economic stability. They develop emergency response plans, stockpile resources, and educate the public about preparedness measures. A non-profit organization analyzes the impact of changes in government funding, they explore scenarios where funding is reduced, redirected, or eliminated. They develop fundraising strategies, diversify their income streams, and advocate for continued support. How Scenario Analysis Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifying Potential Risks By exploring various scenarios, a firm can identify risks and adopt appropriate risk treatment strategies. 2. Assessing the Impact of Risks Scenario analysis helps an organization to understand the possible severity and financial implications of different risks for risk prioritization and mitigation purposes. 3. Developing contingency plans. An organization can develop effective plans for each by analyzing different scenarios to prepare to navigate various situations. 4. Strengthening strategic planning. Scenario analysis encourages a firm to consider alternative futures, leading to more flexible and adaptable strategies to withstand unexpected events. 5. Enhancing communication and collaboration. Building and analyzing scenarios fosters communication and cooperation between different departments and stakeholders, leading to a more united front facing potential risks. Scenarios must be plausible and relevant to an organization, and key stakeholders must be involved in the analysis. Organizations must regularly update their scenarios as the internal and external environment changes. Combining scenario analysis with other risk management methods like financial analysis, competitor analysis, and internal audits is also beneficial for a comprehensive approach. Using scenario analysis effectively, an organization can move beyond deaths, imply reacting to risks and become proactive in identifying and mitigating them. This proactive approach can significantly increase a firm's resilience and profitability. Scenario analysis empowers organizations to anticipate and plan for various possible futures, making it a valuable tool in risk management. 24. Customer Feedback Customer feedback provides an organization of customers' experiences, opinions, and satisfaction with a product, service, or overall organizational interaction. It is a valuable source of insights that can be used for risk identification and management. Analyzing customer feedback helps organizations understand potential risks related to customer dissatisfaction, 
product issues, or service shortcomings. Customer feedback is helpful in proactively identifying and managing potential risks. By listening to customers and understanding their needs, concerns, and experiences, organizations can get valuable information and its vulnerability and take steps to mitigate those risks. Customer Feedback in Risk Management 1. Feedback Collection Channels Utilize various channels to collect customer feedback, including surveys, online reviews, social media, customer support interactions, and focus groups. 2. Categorization of Feedback Categorize customer feedback into different themes, such as product quality, customer service, delivery experience, and overall satisfaction. 3. Sentiment Analysis Perform sentiment analysis on customer comments to understand their feedback's tone and emotional context. 4. Identification of Patterns Identify patterns or recurring issues within customer feedback to pinpoint potential risks or areas of improvement. 5. Quantitative analysis Quantify feedback data to measure the frequency and severity of identified issues, helping prioritize risk management efforts. 6. Root cause analysis Conduct root cause analysis to determine the reasons for customer dissatisfaction or concerns. 7. Proactive Issue Resolution – Address identified issues proactively to mitigate potential risks and prevent them from escalating. Benefits of Utilizing Customer Feedback for Risk Identification and Management 1. Early Detection of Potential Issues – Customer feedback can often alert an organization to problems before they escalate, allowing it to address them before they impact its reputation and financial performance. Two. Identification of blind spots, customers can pinpoint areas where their internal processes or communication might fail, highlighting potential risks they might have missed. 3. Understanding unmet needs and changing preferences, analyzing feedback can help an organization identify potential market shifts and evolving customer desires, allowing the company to adapt its products and services to meet customers' needs. Four. Prioritization of risks, feedback can help gauge the severity and impact of different issues, enabling the company to prioritize its risk management efforts effectively. 5. Building trust and fostering loyalty, demonstrating that a business values customer feedback and taking action based on it can strengthen customer relationships, build confidence, and mitigate customer service risks. Examples of using customer feedback for risk identification and management. A restaurant receives complaints about long wait times, this identifies a potential risk of losing customers due to poor service. They implement measures like improving table management, hiring more staff, and offering online reservations to mitigate the risk. An online retailer notices feedback about confusing checkout processes, this highlights a potential risk of abandoned carts and lost sales. They simplify the checkout process and provide options and instructions to reduce friction and mitigate this risk. A software company discovers concerns about data security from user feedback, this reveals a potential risk of data breaches and reputational damage. They invest in cybersecurity measures, improve data privacy policies, and communicate transparency to their users to address concerns and mitigate risks. A bank hears feedback about complicated fee structures, this identifies a risk of customer dissatisfaction and potential churn. They review their fee structures, increase transparency, and offer alternative options to address the concerns and mitigate the risk. A clothing brand notices feedback about poor quality materials, this exposes a risk of losing brand reputation and customer trust. They investigate the issue, improve their quality control process, and communicate steps taken to regain customer confidence. Tips for effectively utilizing customer feedback for risk management 1. Collect feedback through multiple channels, utilize surveys, reviews social media mentions, and direct communication to gather diverse perspectives. 2. Analyze feedback systematically, identify recurring themes, 
categorize concerns, and prioritize issues based on impact and severity. 3. Respond to feedback promptly, acknowledge concerns, explain actions taken, and demonstrate the company's commitment to improvement. 4. Share insights across the organization, ensure relevant departments receive and utilize feedback to address identified risks. 5. Regularly measure progress, track the impact of actions taken based on feedback and continue to adopt a suitable approach. Customer feedback analysis has revealed a significant increase in negative sentiments related to delayed deliveries and website usability issues. Customer feedback is a continuous process, not a one-time event. By consistently listening to customers, analyzing their feedback, and addressing their concerns, the company can transform its resources into a powerful tool for proactive risk identification and management, thereby contributing to the success and sustainability of the organization. 25. Employee Survey An employee survey is a method organizations use to collect employee feedback regarding various aspects of their work environment, job satisfaction, and overall experience within the company. Employee surveys can be instrumental in risk identification and management by uncovering potential issues, concerns, or areas of improvement within the organization. Employee surveys provide invaluable insights into the organization's internal workings, fostering employee engagement and uncovering potential risks before they escalate. By surveying employees, the company would understand their perspectives, concerns, and experiences, thereby proactively identifying and managing risks regarding employee satisfaction, morale, and overall organizational health. Benefits of Utilizing Employee Surveys for Risk Identification and Management 1. Early detection of employee dissatisfaction, uncovered concerns about culture, workload, or management through surveys can help a firm address issues before they negatively impact performance, productivity, and retention. 2. Identification of Compliance Risks Surveys can reveal areas where internal processes or policies might not be fully understood or followed, highlighting potential compliance risks. 3. Understanding hidden risks. Employees are often the first to notice operational inefficiencies, safety hazards, or ethical concerns, and surveys can bring these issues to light before they escalate. 4. Prioritization of risks. Employee feedback can help an organization gauge the severity and impact of different concerns, enabling the company to prioritize risk management efforts effectively. 5. Building trust and fostering commitment, demonstrating that the company values employee feedback and takes action to strengthen employees' engagement and responsibility, thereby mitigating the risk of turnover and disengagement. Examples of using employee surveys for risk identification and management. A healthcare organization identifies concerns about burnout among nurses in a survey, this reveals a potential risk of staff shortages and patient care issues. They implement solutions like workload management strategies, mental health support programs, and flexible work arrangements to address the concerns and mitigate the risk. A technology company discovers feedback about unclear communication from leadership in a survey. This highlights a potential risk of information silos and employee disengagement. They implement regular communication channels, encourage open dialogue, and prioritize transparency to address the concerns and improve communication flow. A retail chain notices concerns about safety protocols in a survey, revealing a potential risk of employee injuries and legal liabilities. They investigate the problems, improve safety training, and update protocols to minimize risk and ensure employee safety. A financial services company receives feedback about unfair compensation practices in a survey, this exposes a potential risk of discrimination and employee turnover. They review their compensation structure, implement pay equity practices, and conduct training on unconscious bias to address the concerns and mitigate the risk. A manufacturing company hears feedback about harassment and discrimination in a survey. This reveals a serious risk of a toxic work environment and legal issues.
they take immediate action to investigate the allegations, implement anti-discrimination policies, and offer support resources to employees. Tips for effectively utilizing employee surveys for risk management. 1. Focus on specific goals and risks. Identify areas the company want to assess and design questions that directly address those concerns. 2. Ensure anonymity and confidentiality. Encourage honest feedback by guaranteeing participant anonymity and protecting confidentiality. 3. Utilize a variety of question types. Combine open-ended questions for in-depth feedback with closed-ended questions for quantitative data. 4. Analyze data carefully, identify trends, patterns, and areas of concern, paying attention to positive and negative feedback. 5. Communicate findings and actions, share key results with employees and explain the company's actions to address identified risks. 6. Conduct surveys regularly, track changes over time and measure the impact of actions taken to improve the organization's risk management strategy continually. Employee surveys serve as a valuable tool for risk identification and management by providing insights into the organizational climate, employee satisfaction, and potential areas of vulnerability. Addressing employee concerns helps improve workplace well-being, reduces turnover, and contributes to a more resilient and engaged workforce. Utilizing employee surveys is not just about collecting data, it's about creating a culture of open communication and trust. By regularly seeking and acting on employee feedback, the company can proactively identify and mitigate internal risks, foster a positive work environment, and create a more engaged and productive workforce. 26. Strategic Planning Sessions Strategic planning sessions are collaborative meetings where key organizational stakeholders come together to discuss, define, and prioritize their future direction. These sessions serve as a crucial platform for analyzing the internal and external environment, identifying potential risks, and developing mitigation strategies. A strategic planning session is a structured meeting of a firm's leaders, key stakeholders, and decision makers to discuss, formulate, and align on the organization's strategic goals and initiatives. Strategic planning sessions play a crucial role in corporate decision-making and long-term planning. Benefits of strategic planning sessions for risk identification and management. 1. Comprehensive risk assessment, by bringing together diverse perspectives, these sessions foster a holistic understanding of potential risks, encompassing internal weaknesses, external threats, and emerging trends. 2. Early risk identification, open discussions and brainstorming exercises can uncover potential risks before they become significant problems, allowing for proactive mitigation strategies. 3. Prioritization of risks. The collaborative nature of these sessions enables participants to prioritize risks based on their likelihood and impact, ensuring efficient resource allocation for risk management. 4. Alignment on risk response strategies. Through shared discussion and debate, teams can develop consensus on addressing identified risks, fostering cohesive action and minimizing confusion. 5. Enhanced risk communication, sharing information and plans throughout the sessions promotes awareness and understanding of potential risks across the organization, facilitating better informed decision making. Examples of using strategic planning sessions for risk identification and management. A technology company identifies regulatory changes in a strategic planning session, they assess the potential impact of these changes on their product offerings and business model, developing mitigation strategies like adapting their technology to comply with new regulations and exploring alternative markets if necessary. A retail chain analyzes potential economic risks in a session, they identify risks like inflation and changing consumer preferences, leading them to develop contingency plans like diversifying their product mix, offering flexible pricing options, and optimizing their supply chain for efficiency. A non-profit organization assesses competition in a planning session, they discover new organizations vying for the same resources and funding. 
The session leads them to develop strategies like strengthening their unique value proposition, expanding their donor base, and advocating for increased funding through partnerships. A healthcare organization discusses cybersecurity risks in a session, they brainstorm potential weaknesses in their data security protocols and identify the potential impact of a cyber attack. This leads them to invest in cybersecurity measures, train employees on data protection practices, and develop incident response plans. A manufacturing company considers the impact of climate change in a session, they explore risks like environmental regulations, resource scarcity, and changing consumer demands. This analysis prompts them to implement sustainable practices, develop alternative energy sources, and adapt their product lifecycle to be more environmentally friendly. Tips for effective strategic planning sessions for risk identification and management. 1. Set clear goals and objectives, define the purpose of the session and the specific risks to address. 2. Involve diverse stakeholders, invite representatives from different departments and levels to bring various perspectives. 3. Facilitate open communication, encourage active participation, brainstorming, and constructive debate. 4. Utilize risk assessment tools, consider using SWOT analysis, scenario planning, or other frameworks to identify and analyze risks systematically. 5. Document critical findings and action plans, ensure clear documentation of identified risks, potential impacts, and agreed upon mitigation strategies. 6. Monitor and review progress, regularly revisit the action plans and adapt them based on changing circumstances. By conducting practical strategic planning sessions that integrate risk identification and management practices, organizations can chart a more informed and resilient course for the future, minimizing the impact of potential threats and maximizing their chances of success. By incorporating risk discussions into strategic planning sessions, organizations can identify and manage potential risks, ensuring that their strategic goals are aligned with risk tolerance and that they are well prepared for uncertainties in the external environment. This integrated approach enhances the organization's resilience and adaptive capacity. 27. Project Risk Analysis Project Risk Analysis identifies, assesses, and develops plans to mitigate potential risks that could impact a project's success. It is crucial to ensure projects stay on track, meet their goals, and avoid costly setbacks. Project risk analysis identifies, assesses, and manages risks associated with a project. It involves evaluating potential uncertainties and their impact on project objectives, timelines, budget, and overall success. Project risk analysis helps project managers and stakeholders make informed decisions to minimize the likelihood and impact of risks throughout the project life cycle. Project risk analysis in risk management. 1. Risk identification, identify potential risks associated with the project, considering project scope, resources, technology, external dependencies, and stakeholder expectations. 2. Risk categorization, C. Categorize identified risks into different types, such as technical risks, operational risks, financial risks, and external risks. 3. Quantitative and qualitative assessment, assess the identified risks quantitatively, using numerical scales or financial estimates, and qualitatively, considering probability, impact, and urgency. 4. Probability and Impact Matrix Use a probability and impact matrix to prioritize risks based on their likelihood and potential consequences. 5. Risk Response Planning Develop risk response plans for each identified risk, outlining strategies for risk mitigation, avoidance, transfer, or acceptance. 6. Contingency planning, develop contingency plans for high-impact risks, outlining specific actions if certain risks arise. 7. Monitoring and control, establish a monitoring and control mechanism to track and update risk information throughout the project life cycle. Project risk analysis is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. 
regularly revisit risks, assess their evolution, and adapt mitigation strategies to ensure a successful project. By systematically analyzing and managing risks throughout the project life cycle, project risk analysis enhances the likelihood of project success by identifying and addressing potential challenges early on. It provides a proactive approach to dealing with uncertainties, ultimately contributing to better project outcomes. 28. Quality Control Checks Quality Control, QC, is a systematic process to ensure that products or services meet established quality standards and specifications. Quality control checks involve inspecting, testing, and verifying various product or service aspects to identify and rectify defects or deviations from quality standards. In risk identification and management, quality control checks are crucial in minimizing the risks associated with delivering products and services. Quality control, QC, ensures that a company's products, services, or processes consistently meet predefined standards. It involves systematically inspecting and measuring key characteristics to identify and address deviations that could compromise quality. Quality control checks are specific tasks or procedures within the QC process designed to verify conformance to those standards. How does quality control checks help with risk identification and management? 1. Early detection of defects. Regular QC checks identify potential issues before they escalate, minimizing the risk of defective products reaching customers or causing further problems downstream. 2. Proactive risk mitigation. By addressing identified issues promptly, an organization can prevent more significant risks such as product recalls, reputational damage, and operational disruptions. 3. Improved process control. QC checks provide valuable data that helps identify areas for improvement in the company's products and service delivery to reduce the risk of future defects. 4. Enhance ebb consistency and reliability. An organization can reduce the risk of unexpected variations or failures impacting customer satisfaction by ensuring consistent product quality. 5. Data driven decision making QC data helps make informed decisions about process adjustments, resource allocation, and risk management strategies. Quality control checks in risk management. 1. Establishing quality standards, clearly define quality standards and specifications for products or services to serve as benchmarks for quality control checks. 2. Defining inspection points, identify key inspection points throughout the production or service delivery process where quality control checks will be conducted. 3. Inspection and testing. Inspect each identified point to ensure that products or services meet established quality criteria. 4. Documentation. Document the results of quality control checks, including any defects or deviations from standards, along with details about corrective actions. 5. Continuous monitoring. Implement continuous monitoring of quality control processes to identify trends, patterns, or recurring issues that may pose risks to overall quality. 6. Root cause analysis. Conduct root cause analysis for defects or deviations to determine the underlying reasons and address them to prevent future occurrences. 7. Feedback loop. Establish a feedback loop between quality control and other relevant departments to facilitate communication and collaborative problem solving. A firm can proactively identify and manage risks by effectively utilizing quality control checks, ensuring consistent quality, minimizing potential issues, and ultimately driving success and customer satisfaction. By incorporating quality control checks into the production or service delivery process, organizations can identify and address potential quality-related risks early on, preventing the release of subpar products or services. This approach contributes to maintaining customer satisfaction, brand reputation, and overall business success. 29. Internal Audits 
Internal audits are systematic and independent examinations conducted within an organization to assess and evaluate its processes, systems, controls, and overall adherence to established policies and procedures. The primary objective of internal audits is to assure management and stakeholders that the organization's operations are effective, efficient, and in compliance with relevant regulations. In risk identification and management, internal audits play a critical role in identifying potential risks, assessing the effectiveness of risk management processes, and ensuring overall organizational integrity. Internal audits play a vital role in any organization's risk management framework. They provide independent, objective assurance over the company's operations to identify potential issues, assess risks, and improve internal controls. How do internal audits help with risk identification and management? 1. Proactive risk identification Internal auditors perform systematic reviews of different departments, processes, and activities, uncovering potential risk areas that regular operations might overlook. 2. Independent assessment of controls, they objectively evaluate the effectiveness of internal controls designed to mitigate risks, highlighting weaknesses that require improvement. 3. Early detection of fraud and errors, internal audits can identify fraud, embezzlement, or financial mistakes before they escalate and cause significant damage. 4. Improved compliance management, internal audits assess adherence to internal policies, regulations, and industry standards to identify compliance gaps and mitigate legal and reputational risks. 5. Enhanced governance and accountability, by providing independent assessments and recommendations, internal audits strengthen corporate governance and promote accountability across various departments. Internal Audits Process in Risk Management Here are the seven stages involved in the internal audit process in risk management. 1. Risk-based audit planning Develop risk-based audit plans, focusing on areas of the organization with higher risk profiles or potential vulnerabilities. 2. Evaluation of controls Assess the effectiveness of internal controls designed to manage and mitigate risks. This includes evaluating the design and operational effectiveness of controls in place. 3. Compliance assessment, verify compliance with internal policies, external regulations, and industry standards to identify any gaps that may pose risks to the organization. 4. Process reviews, review key business processes to identify inefficiencies, potential bottlenecks, and areas where operational risks may arise. 5. Data analysis, utilize data analysis techniques to identify anomalies or irregularities that may indicate potential fraud, errors, or risks within financial or operational data. 6. Root cause analysis, conduct root cause analysis for identified issues to understand the underlying reasons and contribute to developing practical corrective actions. 7. Continuous improvement recommendations, based on audit findings, provide recommendations for continuous improvement in processes, controls, and risk management practices. Examples of how internal audits help identify and manage risks. An internal audit of the procurement department identifies potential risks of vendor collusion and overpricing. This leads to implementing stricter procurement procedures and conducting background checks on vendors. An internal audit of the IT infrastructure reveals vulnerabilities in cybersecurity protocols. This prompts the organization to invest in cybersecurity upgrades and employee training to mitigate cyber attacks. An internal audit of the financial reporting process identifies inconsistencies and potential errors. This helps the organization improve its financial reporting controls and ensure the accuracy of financial statements. An internal sales and marketing department audit uncovers potential violations of anti-bribery regulations. This leads to revising sales policies and conducting anti-bribery compliance training for employees. An internal audit of the Human Resources Department identifies weaknesses in data security protocols for employee records. 
This prompts the organization to implement stricter data security measures and employee access controls. 30. External Audits An external audit, also known as an independent audit, examines an organization's financial statements conducted by an independent, qualified auditor not employed by the organization. An external audit is an independent examination of an organization's financial statements, processes, systems, or compliance with laws and regulations. Its primary purpose is to provide an opinion on whether the financial statements are presented fairly and by applicable accounting standards. However, in performing this function, external audits can also play a significant role in risk identification and management. It is conducted by an external auditor or audit firm that is not part of the organization being audited. The primary purpose of an external audit is to assure stakeholders, such as investors, creditors, and regulators, that the financial statements present an accurate and fair view of the organization's financial position and performance. How external audits help with risk identification and management. 1. Independent review of internal controls, external auditors assess the design and effectiveness of a firm's internal controls over financial reporting, identifying weaknesses that could lead to material misstatements in the financial statements. This helps to address potential control deficiencies and mitigate financial risks. 2. Detection of fraud and errors, while their primary focus is on the accuracy of financial statements, external auditors may also uncover fraud, embezzlement, or significant errors during their audit procedures. This early detection can help minimize the event's economic impact and reputational damage. 3. Enhanced corporate governance the external audit promotes good corporate governance by ensuring an independent review of financial reporting practices and internal controls. This can deter management misconduct and build trust with investors and creditors. 4. Compliance with regulations. External audits can help ensure compliance with accounting and financial reporting regulations, mitigating the risk of legal penalties or regulatory sanctions. Five. Benchmarking and best practices, by comparing a company's internal controls and financial reporting practices against industry standards and best practices highlighted by external auditors, the company can identify areas for improvement and enhance its overall risk management framework. Examples of how external audits help identify and manage risks. An external audit identifies weaknesses in inventory controls, leading to the discovery of overstocked or obsolete inventory, posing financial risks. This prompts the organization to improve its inventory management processes to reduce carrying costs and potential write-downs. The audit uncovers inconsistencies in expense reporting, which, upon investigation, reveals instances of employee expense fraud. This early detection enables the organization to take corrective action, mitigate financial losses, and implement more robust anti-fraud controls. The auditor highlights concern about the adequacy of reserves for potential litigation, prompting the organization to reassess its legal risks and adjust its financial statements accordingly. This proactive approach helps them avoid future financial surprises or legal challenges. The audit findings reveal non-compliance with specific accounting standards, leading the organization to adjust its financial reporting practices to avoid regulatory penalties and reputational damage. External audits provide an objective and independent assessment of an organization's risk management practices, helping stakeholders gain confidence in the reliability of the organization's financial information and the effectiveness of its internal controls. Organizations can leverage this independent review process to strengthen their internal controls, improve financial reporting practices, and mitigate potential financial and reputational risks by understanding how external audits can contribute to risk identification and management. 31. Supply Chain Analysis Supply chain analysis examines and evaluates various supply chain components to understand their dynamics, optimize efficiency, and manage risks. It helps a firm identify potential hazards, assess their impact, and develop mitigation strategies, 
ensuring a smooth and efficient supply chain. This analysis is crucial for businesses to identify vulnerabilities, streamline processes, and enhance overall supply chain resilience. In the context of risk identification and management, supply chain analysis helps organizations identify and mitigate risks that could disrupt the flow of goods and services. How supply chain analysis helps with risk identification and management. 1. Mapping vulnerabilities. By analyzing each stage of a supply chain, the company can identify potential weak points like single source suppliers, geographical concentrations, or reliance on specific transportation routes. 2. Predicting disruptions. Analyzing historical data and industry trends can help anticipate business disruptions such as natural disasters, economic downturns, or political instability. 3. Assessing financial impact. Quantifying the potential economic impact of different risks to prioritize mitigation efforts and allocate resources effectively. 4. Improving communication and collaboration, sharing supply chain analysis insights with stakeholders fosters collaboration and proactive risk management throughout the network. 5. Optimizing the supply chain, identifying inefficiencies and bottlenecks in a company's supply chain can improve resilience and risk mitigation. Examples of supply chain analysis for risk identification and management. A clothing manufacturer identifies a single source supplier for a critical fabric. Through analysis, they diversify their supplier base, mitigating the risk of production disruptions if the original supplier encounters problems. A pharmaceutical company analyzes potential disruptions due to political instability in a key source country for ingredients. They explore alternative sourcing options and build safety stock to mitigate potential drug shortages. An electronics retailer analyzes the impact of potential trade wars on import costs. They diversify their sourcing and negotiate long-term contracts with suppliers to minimize cost fluctuations. A food distributor evaluates the risk of transportation disruptions due to extreme weather events. They develop alternative transportation routes and contingency plans to ensure timely customer delivery. A logistics company assesses the impact of technological advancements on their business model. They analyze potential risks and opportunities associated with automation, autonomous vehicles, and e-commerce trends, adapting their network accordingly. Consequently, supply chain analysis for risk identification and management is an ongoing process that requires regular monitoring and adaptation to changing conditions. By proactively addressing potential risks, organizations can enhance their supply chain resilience and maintain operational continuity in the face of challenges. 32. Legal Reviews Legal review, often called legal due diligence, is a comprehensive examination of legal aspects and documentation related to a business transaction, operation, or project. A legal review involves a qualified lawyer examining documents, contracts, agreements, or company actions to assess potential legal risks and compliance issues. It is crucial in mitigating risks and ensuring the organization operates within legal boundaries. A legal review aims to identify potential risks and liabilities, ensuring an organization knows and can appropriately manage legal issues. Legal reviews are common in various business contexts, such as mergers and acquisitions, contracts, regulatory compliance, and day-to-day -day business operations. How Legal Review Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Early Detection of Legal Risks By scrutinizing agreements, policies, and proposed actions, legal review can identify potential legal pitfalls before they escalate into costly lawsuits, penalties, or reputational damage. 2. Improved contract negotiation, having a lawyer review contracts before finalizing G them helps ensure terms are clear, favorable, and legally sound, minimizing future contract disputes. 3. Compliance with regulations, legal reviews can assess a firm's adherence to industry-specific regulations, data privacy laws, and other relevant legal frameworks, mitigating the risk of non-compliance penalties. Four. 
informed decision-making, with legal insights from reviews, a firm can make informed decisions based on potential legal implications, reducing the risk of costly mistakes or strategic missteps. 5. Proactive risk management, regular legal reviews of policies, procedures, and operational practices can identify systemic issues and vulnerabilities before they lead to legal problems. Examples of legal reviews for risk identification and management. A tech startup seeks legal review of its new user terms and conditions. The review identifies potential liability risks with user-generated content and suggests revisions to mitigate those risks. A manufacturing company plans to launch a new product line. A legal review of the product design and marketing materials identifies potential patent infringement risks, prompting necessary design adjustments to avoid legal trouble. A healthcare provider undergoes a HIPAA compliance review. The review identifies areas where patient data handling practices might not fully comply with the regulations, allowing them to address those and avoid potential fines or sanctions. An organization proposes a new marketing campaign targeting a specific demographic. Legal review ensures the campaign adheres to advertising and anti-discrimination laws, minimizing the risk of lawsuits or accusations of unfair practices. A company prepares to enter a new international market. Legal review analyzes local regulations, tax implications, and potential legal challenges to ensure a smooth and compliant market entry. Legal reviews are essential for proactive risk management, helping organizations identify and address potential legal challenges before they escalate. By conducting thorough legal due diligence, Businesses can make informed decisions, implement risk mitigation strategies, and safeguard their interests in various aspects of their operations. Incorporating legal review into a company's risk management practices helps an organization identify and mitigate potential risks and operate with greater confidence and legal certainty. This reduces the likelihood of costly legal problems and supports long-term success. 33. Change Management Assessment A Change Management Assessment, CMA, analyzes an organization's readiness and capability to implement a planned change initiative successfully. It delves into various aspects like leadership commitment, employee receptivity, communication effectiveness, and potential cultural and operational hurdles. This comprehensive evaluation helps identify potential risks and roadblocks before they derail the change initiative, ultimately contributing to smoother implementation and better outcomes. Change management assessment involves evaluating and analyzing the processes, strategies, and impacts associated with organizational changes. The goal is to ensure that changes are implemented smoothly, with minimal disruptions, and that potential risks are identified and managed effectively. Change management is crucial during significant organizational transformations, such as mergers, acquisitions, technology implementations, or restructuring efforts. How Change Management Assessment Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Early risk identification, the assessment seeks potential challenges like low employee engagement, unclear communication, or lack of resources, enabling mitigation strategies before they impact the change. 2. Prioritization of risks, by evaluating the severity and likelihood of identified risks, the assessment enables an organization to prioritize its risk management process to focus on the most critical areas. Three. Tailored mitigation strategies, understanding the specific risks enables a firm to develop targeted mitigation strategies, increasing the effectiveness of its risk management approach. 4. Improved communication and engagement, the assessment process often involves stakeholder surveys and interviews, uncovering concerns and fostering communication, reducing resistance and promoting buy-in. 5. Increased change success rate. Addressing identified risks proactively before implementation significantly increases the chance of successful change adoption and minimizes wasted resources. Examples of change management assessment for risk identification and management. 1. 
implementing a new enterprise resource planning ERP system, the assessment reveals user training and data migration complexity concerns. Mitigation involves comprehensive training programs, early involvement of key users, and phased data migration plans. 2. Merging two departments with different cultures, the assessment identifies potential clashes in work styles and communication practices. Mitigation involves interdepartmental communication workshops, team building activities, and cross training opportunities. 3. Introducing a new performance management system, the assessment reveals anxiety among employees about potential increased workload and subjectivity in evaluations. Mitigation involves clear communication about the system's purpose, training on its use, and establishing transparent evaluation criteria. 4. Shifting from a product-centric to a customer-centric approach, the assessment identifies the need for cultural change and potential resistance from sales teams focused on product targets. Mitigation involves leadership reinforcement of the new approach, aligning individual goals with customer-centric metrics, and providing sales teams with customer insights and training. 5. Automating a manual process, the assessment reveals concerns about job security and skills obsolescence among affected employees. Mitigation involves reskilling and upskilling programs, transparent communication about career paths, and offering support during the transition. Change Management Assessment, CMA, is a proactive risk identification and management approach. It ensures that organizations can navigate transitions smoothly and achieve their desired outcomes while minimizing potential disruptions and negative impacts. Incorporating CMAs into a firm's change management processes helps gain insights to identify and mitigate risks to change strategies for success proactively. This enhances organizational agility, increases employee engagement, and drives positive outcomes through effective change implementation. 34. Health and Safety Inspections Health and safety inspections are proactive and systematic examinations of a workplace environment to identify potential hazards and assess adherence to health and safety regulations. These inspections play a crucial role in preventing accidents, injuries, and illnesses, ensuring the well-being of employees and minimizing legal risks for organizations. Health and safety inspections involve systematic examinations of workplaces, facilities, or processes to assess and ensure compliance with health and safety regulations and standards. These inspections are conducted to identify potential hazards, evaluate the effectiveness of safety measures, and mitigate risks to prevent accidents and injuries. How Health and Safety Inspections Help with Risk Identification and Management 1. Proactive Risk Identification, by meticulously examining the workplace, inspecting equipment, and observing work practices, inspectors can identify potential hazards before they cause harm, allowing for preventive action. 2. Compliance Assessment Inspections verify whether an organization complies with relevant health and safety regulations and standards, mitigating the risk of fines or legal penalties. 3. Early Detection of Safety Violations Identifying unsafe work practices or defective equipment during inspections allows for immediate corrective action, preventing potential accidents and injuries. 4. Improved risk management, the findings of inspections inform a firm's overall risk management strategy to prioritize areas for improvement and allocate resources effectively. 5. Promoting a culture of safety, regular inspections demonstrate a firm's commitment to employee safety, foster awareness of potential hazards, and encourage safe work practices. Examples of health and safety inspections and risk identification slash management. 1. Construction site inspection, identifies hazards like exposed electrical wiring, unstable scaffolding, or improper personal protective equipment, PPE, use. Mitigation involves fixing issues, providing relevant training, and enforcing mandatory PPE use. 2. Manufacturing facility inspection, evaluate machine guarding, 
ventilation systems, and noise levels to assess potential exposure to harmful substances or physical risks. Mitigation involves installing guards, improving ventilation, and implementing hearing protection programs. 3. Office Environment Inspection focuses on ergonomic risks like improper workstation setup, potential for slips and falls, and access to emergency exits. Mitigation involves providing ergonomic assessments, addressing trip hazards, and ensuring clear signage for exits. 4. Laboratory Inspection correctly assess the handling of hazardous chemicals, biological agents, and laboratory equipment. Mitigation involves providing training on safe handling procedures, ensuring adequate ventilation, and enforcing proper disposal protocols. 5. Restaurant Kitchen Inspection evaluates food safety practices, hygiene standards, and potential fire hazards associated with cooking equipment. Mitigation involves training staff on food safety, enforcing good hygiene practices, and ensuring proper equipment maintenance. Health and safety inspections are essential for proactive risk identification and management, promoting a safe working environment, and preventing accidents and injuries. Regular inspections help organizations comply with regulatory requirements and create a W. workplace safety culture. The company can proactively identify and mitigate risks by conducting health and safety inspections, creating a safer working environment, and demonstrating its commitment to employees' well-being. This fosters a positive work environment, reduces potential liabilities, and contributes to the company's overall success. 35. Crisis Management Planning Crisis management planning involves anticipating potential crises, developing response strategies, and establishing clear communication protocols to mitigate damage and ensure effective response during unexpected events. It involves developing methods and procedures to respond to and manage a crisis effectively. The goal is to minimize the impact of the crisis, protect people and assets, and ensure business continuity. Crisis management planning includes the identification of potential risks, the establishment of communication protocols, and the implementation of response and recovery strategies. By preparing for the worst, an organization can navigate challenging situations with greater control and minimize their impact on its employees and reputation. How Crisis Management Planning Aid Risk Identification and Management 1. Proactive risk identification, the planning process encourages a firm to think critically about potential threats, from natural disasters to data breaches, to identify and assess risks before they materialize. 2. Prioritization of risks, the company can prioritize its risk management efforts and allocate resources efficiently by analyzing the likelihood and potential impact of various crises. 3. Development of mitigation strategies, crisis plans outline actions to contain the crisis, minimize damage, and expedite recovery, proactively mitigating potential consequences. 4. Improved communication and transparency, clear communication protocols established in the plan ensure timely and accurate information dissemination to stakeholders, minimizing confusion and fostering trust. 5. Enhanced preparedness and response, regular training and simulation exercises based on the plan build team cohesion, improve response readiness, and ensure swift and effective action during a crisis. Crisis management planning is a dynamic process that requires regular updates and adjustments to adapt to evolving risks and organizational changes. By proactively planning for potential crises, organizations can enhance their ability to respond effectively, protect their reputation, and maintain operational resilience during challenging situations. By proactively engaging in crisis management planning, the organization can identify and mitigate potential risks to enhance its resilience and navigate unpredictable situations with greater confidence and control. This protects employees and the company's reputation to ensure business continuity and improve organizational performance. 36. Insurance Policy Review An insurance policy is a legal contract between an insurer, the insurance company, 
and an insured, the individual or entity seeking protection. The agreement outlines the risks the insurer agrees to cover for the insured in exchange for a periodic payment called a premium. There are several types of insurance policies, including property, liability, life and engineering insurance. An insurance policy review involves closely examining the company's existing insurance coverage to ensure it aligns with the current needs and effectively manages its risk profile. It comprehensively examines an organization's insurance policies to assess their coverage, terms, and conditions. It is a crucial step in proactive risk management, helping identify gaps, overlaps, or outdated policy elements and optimizing insurance spending. The goal is to ensure that the organization's insurance portfolio adequately addresses its risks and exposures. This review is essential for risk identification and management as it helps identify gaps in coverage, avoid underinsurance, and ensure adequate coverage of the company's risks. How an insurance policy review helps with risk identification and management. 1. Identifying coverage gaps, by analyzing a firm's activities, assets, and potential liabilities, the review can uncover areas where its current coverage falls short, exposing the company to financial losses. 2. Optimizing coverage levels, the review assesses whether the current insurance policy limits align with the potential risks. The company might have insufficient coverage for a specific risk, leading to significant out-of-pocket expenses during a claim. 3. Eliminating redundancies, the company might have overlapped coverage across different policies, paying for protection the company do not need. Identifying these overlaps helps consolidate policies and reduce premiums. 4. Staying compliant with regulations, the review ensures that the company policies comply with relevant industry regulations or legal requirements, avoiding potential penalties or legal issues. 5. Proactive risk mitigation, an organization can take additional measures to address uncovered areas and minimize potential losses by understanding an insurance policy's limitations. Regular and thorough insurance policy reviews are crucial for effective risk management. They enable organizations to adapt their insurance coverage to changing business conditions, emerging risks, and regulatory requirements ensuring they have the necessary protection to mitigate financial and operational risks. By proactively reviewing insurance policies, the company can effectively identify and manage potential risks to optimize coverage and ensure financial protection against unforeseen events. This proactive approach fosters peace of mind and contributes to the overall stability and resilience of the company's performance. 37. Strategic Partnerships Assessment A Strategic Partnerships Assessment, SPA, S, systematically evaluates an existing or planned partnership, scrutinizing its strategic alignment, operational effectiveness, and overall success potential. Identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWOT analysis, helps navigate potential roadblocks and pave the way for a stronger, more sustainable partnership. It involves the evaluation of relationships with external partners to ensure they align with an organization's strategic objectives. The goal is to identify and manage risks associated with strategic partnerships effectively. Assessing strategic partnerships helps organizations maximize the benefits of collaboration while minimizing potential hazards that could impact operations, reputation, or financial stability. How Strategic Partnerships Assessment Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Early Identification of Risks, by Analyzing Partnership Goals, Performance Indicators, and Market Dynamics, the assessment can reveal potential challenges like misaligned objectives, cultural clashes, or communication gaps, allowing for mitigation strategies before they derail the partnership. 2. Assessment of financial viability, evaluating resource allocation, revenue sharing models, and potential cost overruns helps identify financial risks and ensure a balanced and sustainable partnership for both parties. 3. Compliance and Regulatory Review, 
Analyzing relevant regulations and contractual obligations helps identify potential compliance risks and develop measures to ensure adherence, minimizing legal or reputational issues. 4. Evaluation of partner capabilities, assessing the partner's track record, financial stability, and expertise in relevant areas helps identify potential performance risks and allows for adjustments to expectations or mitigation strategies. 5. Improved communication and trust, the assessment process, involving open dialogue and data sharing, fosters transparency and trust between partners, enabling proactive risk management through collaborative efforts. Strategic partnerships assessment is an ongoing process beyond the initial stages of forming a partnership. Regular reviews and evaluations help organizations adapt to changing circumstances, manage risks effectively, and ensure that strategic partnerships continue to contribute positively to their objectives. Incorporating strategic partnerships assessments into a firm's partnership management practices helps identify and manage risks to align with strategic goals and cultivate mutually beneficial partnerships that contribute to long-term success. 38. Employee Training Needs Analysis Employee training needs analysis is a systematic process that helps organizations identify the skills, knowledge, and competencies employees need to perform their jobs effectively and achieve organizational goals. In the context of risk identification and management, training needs analysis focuses on identifying areas where the employees may lack the necessary skills or knowledge to mitigate risks and adhere to safety protocols. This analysis helps identify gaps between current and desired employee competencies, informing the training and development initiatives to reduce performance risks and enhance employees' capabilities. How Employee Training Needs Analysis Help with Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifying Skill Gaps By analyzing job requirements, employee performance data, and industry trends, the Aetna reveals areas where employees lack the necessary skills, knowledge, or abilities, potentially leading to performance issues or safety hazards. 2. Mitigating Compliance Risks the analysis ensures employees have the skills and knowledge to comply with legal regulations and industry standards, reducing the risk of non-compliance penalties or legal issues. 3. Addressing safety risks, identifying gaps in safety training or awareness helps mitigate potential accidents, injuries, and associated financial losses. 4. Enhancing risk management skills, Training employees on risk identification, assessment, and mitigation strategies empowers them to manage various workplace risks proactively. 5. Improving decision-making, the Aetna can equip employees to make informed decisions by developing critical thinking and problem-solving skills, potentially mitigating risks associated with poor judgment. Employee Training Needs Analysis, ETNA for risk identification and management is a proactive approach to ensure that employees have the knowledge and skills to identify, mitigate, and manage potential risks. It contributes to building a more resilient and risk-aware workforce within the organization. By conducting regular retinas and implementing targeted training programs, the company can proactively bridge skill gaps, address potential risks, and enhance employee performance. This holistic approach contributes to a safer, more productive, and resilient workforce, ultimately strengthening the company's success. 39. Brand Reputation Monitoring Brand reputation monitoring involves actively tracking and analyzing the online presence and brand across various platforms, including social media, news websites, customer review sites, forums, and blogs. This continuous tracking helps to understand the public perception of the company's brand, thereby identifying potential threats to its reputation. Brand reputation monitoring involves continuously tracking and analyzing online and offline sources to assess the perception and sentiments surrounding a brand. This monitoring helps organizations identify potential risks to their brand reputation and allows for timely responses to mitigate adverse impacts. 
How Brand Reputation Monitoring Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Early Detection of Negative Sentiment By quickly identifying negative comments, complaints, or criticisms, an organization can address them promptly before they escalate into major reputational crises. 2. Proactively mitigating potential risks, analyzing emerging trends and negative discussions can help a firm identify product defects, service problems, and ethical concerns before they significantly impact its reputation. 3. Improved customer service, monitoring customer feedback provides valuable insights into a firm's customers' needs and concerns to improve customer service and satisfaction. 4. Competitive intelligence, analyzing how a firm's competitors are perceived to identify their strengths and weaknesses to improve its brand and marketing strategies. 5. Measurement of marketing and public relations efforts, brand monitoring helps assess the effectiveness of a company's marketing and public relations campaigns for better results. Brand reputation monitoring is crucial to risk identification and management because a positive brand reputation is linked to customer trust and loyalty. Organizations can proactively address potential risks and maintain a favorable public image by actively monitoring and managing the factors influencing brand perception. This ultimately fosters customer trust and loyalty and strengthens brand identity for the company's long-term success. 40. Employee Turnover Analysis Employee Turnover Analysis examines the rate and reasons why employees leave an organization. It provides valuable insights into workforce trends, identifies potential issues leading to employee departures, and aids in developing strategies to improve retention. Employee Turnover Analysis involves examining the rate at which employees leave an organization and analyzing the reasons behind their departures. This analysis is crucial for understanding workforce dynamics, identifying potential risks, and developing strategies to mitigate turnover-related challenges. Risk Identification and Management Through Employee Turnover Analysis 1. Quantifies the turnover rate, this metric reveals the overall impact of employee departures on the organization. High turnover can indicate underlying problems requiring attention. Two. Identifies high turnover groups, analyzing turnover by department, demographic, or tenure highlights specific areas of concern where targeted retention efforts are most needed. 3. Uncovers reasons for leaving, exit interviews, surveys, and focus groups reveal employee motivation, shedding light on potential issues like dissatisfaction, lack of growth opportunities, or poor management practices. Four. Predicts potential turnover, analyzing data like performance reviews, engagement surveys, and absenteeism can help identify employees at risk of leaving, allowing for proactive intervention to address their concerns. 5. Inform retention strategies, by understanding the root causes of turnover, an organization can develop targeted initiatives to improve employee satisfaction, engagement, and overall workplace experience ultimately reducing departures and retaining valuable talent. Examples of employee turnover analysis for risk identification and management. High turnover among new hires, analysis reveals inadequate onboarding processes that leave new employees feeling supported and connected. Mitigation involves revamping onboarding programs, fostering mentorship, and improving communication channels. Disproportionate turnover in a specific department, investigation reveals a toxic work environment due to a manager's leadership style. Mitigation involves addressing management practices, providing leadership training, or potentially reassignments. Exit interviews reveal concerns about career development opportunities, analysis highlights the need for clear career paths, mentorship programs, and internal training opportunities. Mitigation involves implementing these initiatives to foster employee growth and engagement. Employee turnover analysis is a valuable risk identification and management tool, helping organizations proactively address factors contributing to employee departures.
By understanding the reasons behind turnover, organizations can implement targeted retention strategies, enhance the employee experience, and reduce the negative impact of turnover on productivity and organizational performance. This helps to improve organizational success and stability in the long run. 41. Demographist Trends Demographic trends refer to the observable patterns in the characteristics of a population over time. It constitutes long-term changes in the characteristics of a population, such as age, gender, ethnicity, income, education level, and geographic distribution. These characteristics may include age, gender, ethnicity, education level, income, and geographic location. Demographic trends, including business, health care, education, and government policy, significantly impact society. Understanding and analyzing these trends is crucial for identifying potential risks and opportunities, enabling proactive decision-making across various sectors. Demographic trends are complex and vary across regions and countries. Careful analysis of specific context is crucial for accurate interpretations and effective risk management. They are interconnected and can have cascading effects. Consider the interplay between different trends when assessing their impact and developing responses. Monitoring and updating your understanding of demographic trends regularly is essential to ensure the company's strategies are relevant and adaptable to changing circumstances. This is because it involves diverse stakeholders in analyzing and addressing the implications of demographic trends to ensure inclusive and equitable outcomes. By effectively analyzing and leveraging demographic trends, individuals, businesses, and governments can make informed decisions, identify and mitigate risks, and capitalize on emerging opportunities, ultimately contributing to a more sustainable and prosperous future for all. Understanding and monitoring demographic trends is essential for effective risk identification and management. Organizations can adopt strategies to address emerging challenges and opportunities associated with shifting demographics by staying informed about population changes. 42. Benchmarking. Benchmarking compares an organization's performance, processes, or practices against those of other entities or industry standards. It is a strategic management tool that helps organizations identify areas for improvement, set performance goals, and enhance their competitive position. In the context of risk identification and management, benchmarking allows organizations to assess their risk management practices compared to industry peers or best practices. Risk identification and management through benchmarking. 1. Comparative risk assessment. Comparing a company's risk management practices with others helps identify areas where risk identification, analysis and mitigation strategies are inadequate. This enables you to prioritize risk areas and allocate resources effectively. 2. Performance improvement, benchmarking industry leaders' risk management practices reveals areas where the company can improve its approaches, potentially leading to efficient risk mitigation and reduced losses. Three. Setting best-in-class standards, analyzing leading companies' risk management frameworks helps establish organizational achievable goals and continuous improvement. 4. Identification of emerging risks, comparing a company's risk profile with others in the same industry helps identify emerging threats that might have been overlooked, thereby enabling proactive preventive measures. 5. Collaborative learning. Engaging in benchmarking partnerships or industry groups fosters knowledge sharing and collaborative problem solving, enabling the company to benefit from others' experiences and insights. Practical examples of benchmarking A manufacturing company benchmarks its safety record against industry leaders, uncovering gaps in its safety training program and identifying potential hazards. This leads to implementing additional safety measures and reducing workplace accidents. A financial institution compares its cybersecurity practices with competitors, revealing a need to strengthen its data encryption protocols. This proactive approach minimizes the risk of a data breach and associated financial losses. 
a marketing team benchmarks its customer service metrics against industry standards, identifying areas where they can improve response times and resolution rates. This enhances customer satisfaction and reduces the risk of customer churn. A healthcare provider benchmarks its patient readmission rates against other hospitals, recognizing the need to improve discharge planning and follow-up care. This improves patient outcomes and reduces the risk of costly readmissions. By ID, identifying performance gaps and learning from best practices, organizations can strengthen their risk management capabilities and achieve better overall business outcomes. Effective benchmarking implementation helps a firm gain valuable insights, proactively identify and mitigate potential risks, and improve its overall performance, contributing to a more resilient and successful organization. Benchmarking provides organizations valuable insights to improve risk management practices, enhance competitiveness, and adapt to industry trends. This systematic comparison process helps to identify potential risks and opportunities to improve the company's risk management strategies. 43. Data Analysis Data analytics is the process of examining and interpreting large data sets to extract meaningful insights and inform decision making. It involves various techniques and tools to collect, clean, organize, analyze, and visualize data, helping unlock its hidden potential and address complex problems. Data analytics involves using advanced techniques and tools to analyze and interpret data, extract meaningful insights, and support decision making. In risk identification and management, data analytics plays a crucial role in leveraging data to identify potential risks, assess their impact, and inform strategies for risk mitigation. When it comes to risk identification and management, data analytics plays a crucial role by 1. Identifying potential risks, 2. Assessing risk severity and impact, and 3. Real-time analytics. Examples of data analytics for risk identification and management. 1. Financial institutions, analyze customer data to identify fraud risks, assess creditworthiness, and manage investment portfolios effectively. 2. Healthcare providers, analyze patient data to identify early signs of disease, predict potential complications, and optimize treatment plans, reducing healthcare risks. 3. Retailers, analyze customer purchasing data to identify potential stockouts, optimize inventory management, and predict demand fluctuations, mitigating supply chain risks. 4. Cybersecurity teams, analyze network data to detect suspicious activity, identify potential cyber attacks, and implement real-time preventive measures. 5. Manufacturing companies, analyze sensor data to predict equipment failures, optimize maintenance schedules, and reduce the risk of production disruptions. By leveraging data analytics effectively, a firm can better understand its risk landscape, make informed decisions about risk mitigation strategies, and build a resilient and successful organization. Data analytics allows organizations to process large volumes of data, uncover patterns and trends, and make informed decisions to enhance risk identification and management processes. Advanced analytics techniques, such as machine learning and artificial intelligence, further enable organizations to derive valuable insights from complex data sets, i. Improving the overall effectiveness of risk management strategies. 44. Emerging Technology Assessment Emerging Technology Assessment, ETA, examines the potential benefits, risks, and societal implications of new and rapidly evolving technologies before widespread adoption. It involves the evaluation of new and cutting-edge technologies to understand their potential impact on an organization's operations, strategies, and risk landscape. The goal identifies opportunities and risks associated with adopting or incorporating emerging technologies. This proactive approach helps organizations and policymakers make informed decisions about integrating these technologies, maximizing their positive impacts while mitigating potential downsides. 
How ETA helps with risk identification and management. 1. Early identification of potential risks, by analyzing the technical specifications, intended use cases, and possible societal impacts of emerging technologies, ETA can identify potential dangers like data privacy concerns, security vulnerabilities, ethical dilemmas, or unintended consequences before they materialize. 2. Informed decision-making about adoption, evaluating the potential benefits and risks alongside the organization's strategic goals and risk tolerance helps make informed decisions about integrating emerging technologies, minimizing potential negative impacts. 3. Proactive development of mitigation strategies, identifying potential risks early enables organizations to develop mitigation strategies and best practices for responsible technology use, minimizing the likelihood and impact of possible risks. 4. Promoting responsible innovation, ETA ensures that technology development and adoption consider ethical and societal implications, contributing to responsible innovation that benefits society. Emerging technology assessment is an ongoing process that involves staying informed about technological advancements, conducting thorough risk assessments, and developing strategies to harness the benefits while mitigating potential risks. By proactively addressing the risks associated with emerging technologies, organizations can position themselves to adopt innovations responsibly and gain a competitive advantage in their respective industries. By conducting thorough ETAs, organizations and policymakers can navigate the rapidly evolving landscape of emerging technologies with greater clarity, mitigate potential risks, and embrace opportunities responsibly, contributing to a more sustainable and equitable future. 45. Ethical Considerations Ethical considerations refer to the principles and values that guide individuals and organizations in making decisions and taking morally sound actions that align with accepted standards of conduct. Ethical considerations encompass the moral and social values that guide decision-making, particularly when faced with potential risks. Risk management involves identifying, analyzing, and addressing the possible impact of the company's risk management actions on individuals, communities, and the environment. In risk identification and management, ethical considerations are crucial in ensuring that organizations prioritize responsible and moral behavior. The company can proactively consider ethical implications to ensure its risk management practices are effective, accountable, and just. How Ethical Considerations Help with Risk Identification and Management 1. Ensuring Fairness and Equity Ethical considerations help ensure fairness and equity in management risk within an organization. 2. Respecting Privacy and Confidentiality When Mitigating Risks Ethical considerations dictate respecting individual privacy and protecting confidential information. 3. Promoting transparency and accountability, ethical practices require transparency in risk identification, mitigation strategies, and potential consequences, ensuring stakeholder accountability. 4. Maintaining environmental sustainability, ethical considerations encourage managing risks to minimize negative environmental impact and promote responsible resource usage. 5. Upholding human rights. Risk management practices should respect fundamental human rights, including freedom from discrimination, exploitation, and harmful working conditions. Ethical considerations are fundamental to responsible risk identification and management. By integrating ethical principles into organizational practices, businesses can foster trust, maintain a positive reputation, and build long-term relationships with stakeholders. Ethical risk management not only minimizes the potential for legal and financial consequences but also contributes to the overall sustainability and success of the organization. Integrating ethical considerations into a firm's risk management framework helps make informed decisions to protect people, the environment, and society, ultimately building a more responsible and sustainable future. 46. Cross-Functional Teams Collaboration 
Cross-functional team collaboration involves individuals from different functional areas or departments working together on a typical project or goal. It brings together individuals from other departments or disciplines to achieve a common goal. Risk management involves pooling diverse perspectives and expertise to identify, assess, and mitigate risks more effectively. In the context of risk identification and management, cross-functional collaboration enhances the diversity of perspectives, expertise, and insights brought to the risk management process. Benefits of cross-functional team collaboration in risk identification and management 1. Enhanced risk identification, a broader range of perspectives helps identify risks that siloed teams might overlook. 2. Improved risk assessment, diverse expertise leads to more thorough and accurate risk assessments. 3. Effective risk mitigation, collaboration fosters innovative and comprehensive risk mitigation strategies. 4. Stronger communication and trust. Collaboration builds trust and understanding across departments, enhancing overall risk management processes. By fostering effective cross-functional collaboration, organizations can leverage the power of diverse perspectives, achieve a more comprehensive understanding of risks, and develop more robust risk management strategies, ultimately enhancing their overall success and resilience. Cross-functional team collaboration in risk identification and management ensures a holistic approach, leveraging the diverse expertise of team members to uncover potential risks from different angles. This collaborative approach enhances risk resilience and enables organizations to develop more effective risk management strategies. 47. Government Policy Changes Government policy changes refer to alterations in the laws, regulations, and guidelines set forth by governmental bodies. These changes can significantly impact businesses and organizations, introducing new opportunities or posing potential risks. Risk identification and management involve assessing the implications of government policy changes to adapt strategies and mitigate possible adverse effects. Government policy changes encompass modifications to laws, regulations, and programs various governmental bodies implement. These changes significantly impact individuals, businesses, and society and often affect risk identification and management across multiple sectors. How Government Policy Changes Impact Risk Identification and Management 1. New Risks Policy changes can introduce new risks for individuals and organizations. For example, environmental regulations create compliance risks for businesses, while changes to data privacy laws might introduce new security risks. 2. Mitigation of existing risks. Policy changes can also aim to mitigate existing risks such as introducing stricter safety standards to reduce health risks or implementing economic policies to manage financial risks. 3. Shifting risk landscape. New policies can alter the risk landscape by changing risk profiles, priorities, and management approaches. For example, new tax regulations might necessitate revising financial risk management strategies for businesses. 4. Collaboration and coordination, policy changes often require collaboration and coordination between government agencies, businesses, and other stakeholders to effectively identify, assess, and manage risks associated with the changes. Examples of government policy changes and their impact on risk management. 1. Climate change policies, introducing carbon emission regulations creates industry compliance risks and promotes innovation and investments in sustainable technologies, mitigating long-term environmental and economic risks. 2. Cybersecurity regulations, implementing data privacy laws requires businesses to strengthen data security measures, mitigate cyber risks, and protect consumer information. Three. Healthcare reforms, changes to healthcare policies might alter healthcare access and affordability, impacting individual health risks and requiring adjustments in healthcare risk management strategies. 4. 
financial regulations, introducing stricter capital requirements for banks aims to mitigate financial risks in the banking system but might also limit access to credit for some businesses. 5. Immigration policies, changes in visa regulations can impact labor availability and workforce demographics, necessitating adjustments in risk management strategies for businesses dependent on specific skill sets. Identifying and managing risks associated with government policy changes is crucial for organizational resilience. Continuous monitoring of regulatory environments, engagement in advocacy efforts, and proactive adaptation to policy changes enable businesses to navigate uncertainties and seize opportunities in evolving regulatory landscapes. By understanding the impact of government policy changes on risk identification and management, individuals, businesses, and policymakers can make informed decisions, adapt their strategies, and build resilience in the face of a constantly evolving landscape. 48. Customer Demands Analysis Customer Demands Analysis systematically examines customer preferences, expectations, and behaviors to understand and anticipate their needs. In the risk identification and management context, analyzing customer demands helps organizations identify potential risks associated with shifts in customer preferences, market trends, and competitive dynamics. Customer demands analysis helps understand what customers want, need, and expect. It involves researching, collecting, and analyzing data on customer preferences, buying patterns, pain points, and future expectations. This analysis helps proactively identify and manage risks associated with unmet or evolving customer demands when performed regularly. How Customer Demands Analysis Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifying Potential Demand Shifts by analyzing trends and emerging needs, an organization can anticipate changes in customer demand that could create risks, such as declining interest in a product category or increasing demand for features she doesn't offer. 2. Preventing product or service obsolescence, understanding evolving customer needs helps the company adapt, remain relevant, and avoid losing customers to competitors who better meet their needs. 3. Mitigating supply chain risks, analyzing changing demand patterns helps to optimize inventory levels and production processes, minimizing the risk of stockouts or overproduction. 4. Improving resource allocation, understanding customer priorities helps organizations allocate resources effectively to develop products and services that meet their needs, thereby reducing the risk of wasted resources on low demand offerings. 5. Enhancing customer satisfaction and loyalty, proactively addressing evolving demands leads to products and services that resonate better with customers, reducing churn and enhancing loyalty. Customer demand analysis is an ongoing process that requires organizations to stay attuned to market dynamics, customer feedback, and emerging trends. Organizations can adapt their strategies to remain competitive and enhance customer satisfaction by proactively identifying and managing risks associated with changing customer demands. 49. Political Stability Assessment Political Stability Assessment PSA, is a process that evaluates the level of stability and potential for political unrest within a specific country or region. Political stability assessment involves evaluating the political environment of a country or region to understand the level of stability and potential risks associated with political factors. Political stability is critical for global businesses and organizations, as political events can significantly impact economic conditions, regulatory frameworks, and overall business operations. It helps organizations and individuals identify, assess, and manage risks associated with political instability, which can significantly impact business operations, investments, and personal safety. How does Political Stability Assessment PSA, help with risk identification and management? 1. Identifying Potential Threats PSA helps identify early signs of political turmoil, such as rising social unrest, contested elections, or leadership changes, enabling proactive risk mitigation strategies. 
2. Assessing the severity of risks, by analyzing factors like political institutions, economic conditions, and historical trends, PSA can determine the potential severity and duration of political instability, informing risk management decisions. 3. Prioritizing risk areas, PSA helps prioritize geographic regions or sectors most likely affected by political instability, allowing for focused risk management efforts. 4. Developing contingency plans, by understanding potential scenarios, PSA facilitates the development of contingency plans to minimize disruptions and ensure business continuity in case of political turmoil. 5. Making informed decisions, PSA provides valuable insights for investors, businesses, and individuals regarding risks associated with entering or remaining in a specific region, supporting informed decision making. Political stability assessment is integral to overall risk management for organizations operating in diverse geopolitical environments. By proactively identifying and managing political risks, Businesses can enhance their resilience and make informed decisions that align with the political dynamics of the regions in which they operate. By conducting thorough PSAs, organizations and individuals can gain valuable insights into potential political risks, make informed decisions, and develop proactive strategies to navigate uncertain environments, ultimately enhancing their resilience and security. 50. Social Media Monitoring Social media refers to online platforms and websites that allow users to create, share, and interact with content. These platforms enable individuals, businesses, and organizations to connect with others, share information, and engage in conversations. Popular social media platforms include Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and others. What is social media monitoring? Social media monitoring, PSA, or social media listening or analytics, involves tracking and analyzing online conversations, mentions, and engagements related to a brand, product, service, or specific topics. PSA evaluates the level of stability and potential for political unrest within a particular country or region. It's crucial for organizations and individuals operating in uncertain environments to identify, assess, and manage risks associated with political instability. Organizations use social media monitoring tools to gain insights into public sentiment, T, monitor brand reputation, and identify potential risks or opportunities. The process typically involves collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data from various social media platforms. How PSA helps with risk identification and management. 1. Identifying early warning signs, PSA helps identify early indicators of potential political turmoil, such as rising social unrest, contested elections, or leadership changes, allowing for proactive risk mitigation strategies. 2. Assessing severity and duration, by analyzing factors like political institutions, economic conditions, and historical trends, PSA can determine the potential severity and duration of political instability, informing risk management decisions. 3. Prioritizing risk areas, PSA helps prioritize geographic areas or sectors most likely affected by political instability, allowing for focused risk management efforts. 4. Developing contingency plans, by understanding potential scenarios, PSA facilitates the development of contingency plans to minimize disruptions and ensure business continuity in case of political turmoil. 5. Informed decision-making, PSA provides valuable insights for investors, businesses, and individuals regarding risks associated with entering or remaining in a specific region, supporting informed decision-making. Examples of PSA for risk identification and management. 1. Multinational company investing in a developing country, PSA identifies a risk of political instability due to upcoming elections and rising economic inequality. The company uses this information to develop contingency plans, such as diversifying investments across regions and implementing security measures. 2. Humanitarian aid organization in a conflict zone, P. 
PSA helps understand the severity of the conflict, identify areas of greatest need, and assess risks for aid workers. The organization uses this information to prioritize aid distribution, implement safety protocols, and negotiate access with different political factions. 3. Travel Agency Advising Clients PSA helps identify countries with potential political unrest or travel advisories. The agency uses this information to advise clients on safe travel options and inform their booking decisions. 4. News Organization Reporting on Political Events PSA helps understand the underlying causes of the event, assess the potential for escalation, and predict future developments. This information guides accurate and responsible reporting, minimizing misinformation and promoting peaceful resolutions. 5. Insurance Company Underwriting Policies in Volatile Regions PSA helps assess the risk associated with political instability and determine appropriate insurance premiums. This ensures accurate risk pricing and protects the company from financial losses. Social media monitoring is essential to risk management in the digital age. By leveraging social media analytics tools, organizations can proactively identify and address potential risks, enhance brand resilience, and maintain a positive online presence. By conducting thorough PSAs, organizations and individuals can gain valuable insights into potential political risks, make informed decisions, and develop proactive strategies to navigate uncertain environments, ultimately enhancing their resilience and security. 51. Complaints and Grievances Tracking Complaints and Grievances Tracking is a systematic process organizations use to monitor, record, and manage complaints and grievances from customers, employees, or other stakeholders. Complaints and Grievances Tracking involves capturing, documenting, and analyzing issues raised by customers, employees, or other stakeholders. This process is crucial in identifying potential risks, mitigating harm, and improving systems and processes. This tracking system allows organizations to identify patterns, address issues promptly, and continuously improve products, services, or internal processes. In risk identification and management context, complaints and grievances tracking helps mitigate potential risks associated with customer dissatisfaction, legal issues, and employee concerns. How Complaints and Grievances Tracking Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Early Detection of Risks Complaints and grievances often signal underlying problems or vulnerabilities before they escalate into significant issues. Tracking them enables an organization to proactively identify risks like product defects, safety hazards, discriminatory practices, or service quality issues. 2. Understanding risk severity, analyzing the nature and frequency of complaints helps assess the severity and potential impact of identified risks, enabling the company to prioritize risk mitigation efforts effectively. 3. Targeted risk mitigation, by analyzing patterns and trends in complaints, the company would understand the root causes of issues and develop targeted mitigation strategies to address them directly. 4. Improving processes and policies, tracking and analyzing complaints provides valuable insights into areas where the company's systems, processes and policies are inadequate, enabling the company to improve and prevent future issues. 5. Strengthening stakeholder relationships, effectively addressing complaints and grievances demonstrates a company's commitment to addressing concerns and fosters trust and positive relationships with customers, employees, and key stakeholders. Examples of complaints and grievances tracking for risk identification and management. 1. A customer service team tracks product complaints, identifying a rise in complaints about a specific product feature helps them understand a potential safety risk and initiate a product recall before injuries occur. 2. A human resources department tracks employee grievances, analyzing trends in discrimination complaints highlights potential biases in hiring or promotion practices, prompting them to review and revise related policies and procedures. 3. 
A healthcare provider tracks patient complaints, observing recurring complaints about long wait times in the emergency room leads them to optimize staffing schedules and improve appointment management, reducing patient frustration and potential medical risks. 4. A financial institution tracks customer complaints about fraudulent activity, identifying patterns in fraudulent transactions helps them strengthen security measures, prevent economic losses, and protect customers from further harm. 5. A government agency tracks public grievances about environmental regulations, analyzing feedback helps them understand potential unintended consequences of rules and adjust them to minimize negative impacts while achieving intended ecological goals. Complaints and grievances tracking is a proactive approach to risk management, allowing organizations to address issues promptly, prevent their recurrence, and demonstrate a commitment to continuous improvement. By leveraging customer, employee, and stakeholder feedback, organizations can enhance their resilience and maintain positive relationships with key stakeholders. 52. Innovation Impact Assessment Innovation impact assessment involves evaluating the potential effects of introducing new technologies, processes, products, or business models within an organization. Innovation impact assessment, IIA, examines the possible consequences of introducing new ideas, technologies, or methods. This assessment aims to understand how innovation may impact various aspects such as operations, finances, market position, and overall organizational performance. In risk identification and management, innovation impact assessment helps identify and mitigate potential risks associated with adopting new and disruptive innovations. It goes beyond evaluating technical feasibility and economic viability, delving into innovation's broader social, ethical, environmental, and legal implications. Organizations can identify and manage risks by thoroughly assessing potential impacts, maximizing positive outcomes, and ensuring responsible innovation. How Innovation Impact Assessment Helps with Risk Identification and Management 1. Early Identification of Potential Risks by analyzing the various dimensions of an innovation's impact, Innovation Impact Assessment, IIA, can identify potential risks like unintended consequences, ethical dilemmas, safety concerns, or regulatory hurdles before they materialize. 2. Informed Decision Making, Assessing the potential benefits and risks alongside the organization's values and risk tolerance helps make informed decisions about whether and how to proceed with the innovation, minimizing potential negative impacts. 3. Proactive Development of Mitigation Strategies Early identification of potential risks enables organizations to develop mitigation strategies and best practices for responsible innovation reducing the likelihood and impact of possible risks. 4. Promoting sustainable innovation, ER ensures that innovation considers broader societal and environmental implications, contributing to sustainable and responsible development. 5. Building stakeholder trust, transparent and inclusive ER processes involving diverse stakeholders foster trust and understanding, contributing to innovation's successful adoption and impact. By conducting thorough ERs, organizations can navigate the dynamic landscape of innovation with greater clarity, mitigate potential risks, and embrace opportunities responsibly, contributing to a more sustainable and equitable future. Innovation impact assessment is a proactive approach to ensure that organizations are well prepared for the potential risks of adopting innovations. By systematically evaluating the impact of innovation, organizations can make informed decisions, address potential challenges, and maximize the benefits of their innovative endeavors. 53. Product Life Cycle Analysis What is a product life cycle? The product life cycle refers to a product's journey from its initial conception and development to its eventual decline and removal from the market. The product life cycle is a concept that describes the stages a product goes through, from its introduction to the market until its withdrawal or discontinuation. The typical stages in a product's life cycle include introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. 
Each stage is associated with different challenges, opportunities, and characteristics. What is Product Life Cycle Analysis? Product Life Cycle Analysis, PLA, systematically examines a product's journey through its various stages. It includes assessing market trends, consumer demand, competition, and other factors to make informed decisions about the product's development, marketing, and eventual phase out. Understanding this life cycle and conducting product life cycle analysis, PLA, is crucial for businesses to identify and manage risks associated with each stage, maximizing success and profitability. In risk identification and management, product life cycle analysis helps organizations identify potential risks and opportunities for each stage of a product's life cycle. How PLA helps with risk identification and management. 1. Identifying potential risks at each stage, analyzing historical data and industry trends helps anticipate risks specific to each stage of a product life cycle. 2. Diversifying product offerings, investing in research and development, R&D, and building brand loyalty. 3. Making informed investment decisions, PLA helps assess the potential profitability and sustainability of a product throughout its life cycle, informing investment decisions for product development, marketing, and production. 4. Optimizing resource allocation, understanding the resource demands of each stage allows companies to allocate resources efficiently to maximize return on investment. Product life cycle analysis is an ongoing process that requires organizations to adapt and evolve their strategies based on the dynamic factors influencing the product's journey. By systematically assessing risks and opportunities at each stage, organizations can make informed decisions to optimize their product's life cycles and enhance overall business resilience. By conducting thorough PLAs and proactively managing risks associated with each stage, Businesses can optimize product development, maximize profitability, and navigate the ever-changing market landscape with greater confidence and resilience. 54. Natural Disaster Preparedness What is a natural disaster? A natural disaster is a catastrophic event due to Earth's natural processes. These events can cause significant damage to the environment, property, and human life. Examples of natural disasters include earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, wildfires, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and droughts. What is natural disaster preparedness? Natural disaster preparedness involves taking proactive measures to mitigate the impact of potential natural disasters on individuals, communities, and organizations. It includes planning, training, and resource allocation to enhance resilience and reduce the vulnerability of people and assets. In risk identification and management, natural disaster preparedness focuses on identifying the risks associated with specific types of natural disasters and implementing strategies to minimize their impact. Natural disaster preparedness involves the steps individuals, communities, and governments take to anticipate, prevent, and minimize the impact of these events. It's a crucial aspect of risk management, helping to 1. Reduce loss of life and injury, by understanding potential risks and taking steps to mitigate them, communities can save lives and protect their residents. 2. Minimize property damage, early warning systems, evacuation plans, and building codes can help reduce damage to homes and infrastructure. 3. Facilitate faster recovery, preparedness efforts can lead to more efficient and effective response and recovery operations after a disaster strikes. Natural disaster preparedness is crucial for minimizing the impact of disasters on human lives, property, and communities. By identifying specific risks associated with different types of natural disasters and implementing preparedness measures, individuals and organizations can enhance their resilience and contribute to overall community safety. By taking proactive steps at all levels, communities can become more resilient to natural disasters and minimize the devastating impact they can have. Remember, preparedness is critical to staying safe and minimizing the damage caused by natural disasters. 55. 
Ethical hacking. Ethical hacking, also known as white hat hacking or penetration testing, is the authorized practice of simulating cyber attacks to identify vulnerabilities and security weaknesses in computer systems, networks, and applications. It is an authorized and legal attempt to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in computer systems, networks, applications, or other information technology infrastructure. Unlike malicious hackers who exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain, ethical hackers work with the system owner's permission to help them strengthen their defenses and mitigate potential risks. Ethical hackers, often hired by organizations, use the same techniques and tools as malicious hackers to assess the security posture of a system. The primary goal is identifying and addressing security flaws before malicious actors can exploit them. Ethical hacking is a proactive approach to improving cybersecurity and mitigating potential risks. How ethical hacking helps with risk identification and management. 1. Proactive vulnerability identification. Ethical hackers use the same tools and techniques as malicious actors, allowing them to discover security flaws that might otherwise go unnoticed until exploited. 2. Comprehensive risk assessment. By simulating real-world attack scenarios, ethical hackers can assess identified vulnerabilities severity and potential impact, helping prioritize risk mitigation efforts. 3. Improved patch management, ethical hacking findings can pinpoint specific systems or applications needing immediate patching or security updates, leading to faster remediation of vulnerabilities. 4. Enhanced security awareness. Ethical hacking exercises can raise awareness among system owners and users about potential attack vectors and the importance of security best practices. 5. Developing effective security policies. Identifying weaknesses in existing security policies allows organizations to update and strengthen them to provide better protection against cyber threats. Examples of ethical hacking for risk identification and management. 1. Vulnerability assessment. It aims to identify and assess software, network, and system vulnerabilities. An ethical hacker conducts vulnerability scans and penetration tests on a web application to discover weaknesses such as outdated software versions, misconfigurations, or insecure coding practices. The results help the organization patch vulnerabilities and enhance overall security. 2. Network Security Testing The objective is to evaluate the security of a network infrastructure to prevent unauthorized access. Ethical hackers perform network penetration tests to identify weaknesses in firewall configurations, network segmentation, and access controls. By simulating a real-world attack, they help organizations strengthen network defenses and prevent unauthorized access. 3. Social Engineering Assessments It aims to test the organization's resistance to social engineering attacks, where attackers manipulate individuals to divulge sensitive information. Ethical hackers conduct phishing simulations or attempt to gain physical access to secure areas by posing as employees. Organizations can implement better training and awareness programs by assessing how well employees recognize and resist social engineering tactics. 4. Wireless Security Testing The objective is to assess the security of wireless networks to prevent unauthorized access or data interception. Ethical hackers attempt to exploit weaknesses in Wi-Fi encryption, unauthorized access points, or weak passwords. The findings help organizations secure their wireless infrastructure and protect against unauthorized access. 5. Web Application Security Testing the objective is to identify and remediate vulnerabilities in web applications to prevent data breaches or unauthorized access. Ethical hackers conduct web application penetration tests to find vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, or insecure authentication mechanisms. The results guide developers in fixing security issues and improving the overall resilience of web applications. 6. Cloud Security Assessments The objective is to evaluate the security of cloud infrastructure and services to prevent data breaches or unauthorized access. 
Ethical hackers assess the configuration of cloud environments, identify misconfigurations, and test access controls. This helps organizations secure their cloud assets and prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data. 6. Internet of Things, IoT, Security Testing The objective is to assess the security of IoT devices and networks to prevent potential vulnerabilities. Ethical hackers evaluate the security of IoT devices by analyzing communication protocols, firmware security, and access controls. The findings assist organizations in securing IoT devices and preventing unauthorized access or compromise. 7. Incident Response Testing It evaluates the organization's ability to detect and respond to security incidents. Ethical hackers simulate a cybersecurity incident, such as a ransomware attack or data breach, to assess how well the organization's incident response team detects, responds, and mitigates the impact. This helps improve incident response plans and procedures. 8. Physical Security Assessments The objective is to evaluate the physical security measures to protect assets, facilities, and sensitive information. Ethical hackers attempt to gain physical access to secure areas, bypassing access controls or exploiting vulnerabilities in physical security infrastructure. The results help organizations enhance physical security measures and prevent unauthorized access. 9. Compliance Audits It ensures that systems and processes comply with regulatory requirements and industry standards. Ethical hackers conduct compliance audits, assessing whether the organization meets requirements such as the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, or the PCI Security Standards Council, PCISSC. The findings help organizations address compliance gaps and mitigate legal and regulatory risks. By utilizing ethical hacking strategically, organizations can gain valuable insights into their security vulnerabilities, proactively manage risks, and build more resilient IT infrastructure, ultimately protecting their sensitive data and assets from malicious actors. Ethical hacking is an essential component of a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. By proactively identifying and addressing security vulnerabilities, organizations can reduce the risk of data breaches, financial losses, and reputational damage. Ethical hackers are crucial in helping organizations stay one step ahead of malicious actors and maintain a strong security posture. 56. Intellectual Property Protection What is an intellectual property, IP? Intellectual property refers to creations of the mind, such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, symbols, names, and images used in commerce. It entails intangible creations of the human mind, like inventions, artistic works, literary works, symbols, names, and designs. It includes various types of assets, such as patents, copyrights, trademarks, trade secrets, and industrial designs. Intellectual property is protected by law through patents, copyrights, trademarks, and trade secret laws, allowing creators and innovators to control the use of their creations or inventions. What is an intellectual property protection? Intellectual property protection involves legal and strategic measures to safeguard intellectual property rights and prevent unauthorized use, reproduction, or exploitation of intellectual assets. IP rights give creators exclusive rights to their creations for a certain period, allowing them to benefit from their work and encourage further innovation. Protecting these rights is crucial for creators and businesses to thrive. It aims to protect the value derived from intellectual creations and innovations, preventing infringement by competitors or unauthorized parties. In risk identification and management, intellectual property protection helps mitigate the risk of financial losses, reputational damage, and loss of competitive advantage. Importance of Intellectual Property Protection 1. Rewards Innovation and Creativity by granting exclusive rights, IP protection incentivizes people to create new ideas and invest in developing them, 
fostering innovation and progress. 2. Supports economic growth, protecting IP attracts investment, promotes job creation, and contributes to a thriving knowledge economy. 3. Boosts brand reputation and value, strong IP protection strengthens the brand image and helps businesses differentiate themselves from competitors, increasing their value. 4. Ensures fair competition, IP protection promotes fair competition based on original ideas and innovation by preventing unauthorized use of others' creations. Types of Intellectual Property Protection 1. Patents, protect inventions for a limited period, granting exclusive rights to make, use, sell, or import the invention. 2. Copyrights, protect original works of authorship, like literary works, music, artwork, and software, granting exclusive rights to reproduce, distribute, and create derivative works. 3. Trademarks, protect distinctive words, symbols, or designs used to identify goods or services, preventing others from using confusingly similar marks. 4. Trade secrets, protect confidential information that gives a business a competitive advantage, prohibiting unauthorized disclosure or use. By understanding the importance of IP protection and implementing effective risk management measures, creators and businesses can safeguard their intellectual property, encourage innovation, and achieve sustainable success. Intellectual property protection is vital for companies to maintain their competitive edge, preserve the value of innovations, and safeguard brand reputation. By implementing comprehensive protection measures, organizations can reduce the risk of intellectual property theft, unauthorized use, and legal disputes, contributing to long-term business success. 57. Diversity and Inclusion Review What is diversity and inclusion? Diversity and inclusion, D and I, refers to organizational practices and policies that embrace and celebrate diversity among employees fostering an inclusive work environment where individuals of different backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives are valued and treated with equity. Diversity encompasses various dimensions, including race, ethnicity, gender, age, sexual orientation, physical abilities, religious beliefs, and more. Inclusion focuses on creating an environment where everyone feels a sense of belonging and is empowered to contribute their unique skills and perspectives. Importance of Diversity and Inclusion 1. Enhanced creativity and innovation, diverse teams bring a more comprehensive range of ideas and perspectives, leading to more innovative solutions and problem-solving approaches. 2. Improved decision-making, inclusive environments encourage open communication and diverse viewpoints, leading to more informed and balanced decision-making. 3. Stronger employee engagement and retention, feeling valued and appreciated fosters employee engagement, satisfaction, and loyalty, reducing turnover and enhancing workforce stability. 4. Enhanced reputation and brand image, demonstrating commitment to D&I attracts top talent, strengthens customer relationships, and builds a positive brand image. What is a diversity and inclusion review? A diversity and inclusion review, D&I review, is a systematic process of assessing an organization's progress towards achieving its D&I goals. It involves 1. Collecting data this includes quantitative data like workforce demographics and qualitative data like employee surveys and focus groups. 2. Analyzing data, identifying areas of progress, disparities, and potential risk factors for exclusion or discrimination. 3. Formulating recommendations, develop actionable strategies to address identified gaps and advance D&I efforts. How D&I Reviews Help with Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifying Potential Discrimination and Bias, Proactively Uncovering Unfair Hiring Practices, Unequal Opportunities, or Microaggressions Allows for Interventions and Risk Mitigation 2. 
ensuring compliance with legal and ethical obligations, assessing adherence to anti-discrimination laws and ethical principles helps avoid legal risks and reputational damage. 3. Improving employee relations and mitigating potential conflicts, addressing diversity-related concerns and fostering an inclusive culture reduces tensions and creates a more harmonious work environment. 4. Building a stronger employer brand, demonstrating commitment to D&I attracts and retains diverse talent, reducing recruitment costs and talent shortages. A diversity and inclusion review is an ongoing process requiring leadership commitment, regular assessments, and continuous improvement. By proactively identifying and addressing risks associated with diversity and inclusion, organizations can build a more inclusive and equitable workplace, enhancing employee satisfaction, productivity, and overall organizational success. By embracing D&I and conducting regular reviews, organizations can create a more inclusive and equitable environment, unlocking the full potential of their diverse workforce and building a stronger, more resilient future. 58. Red Team Exercises Conducting red team exercises helps simulate potential threats and vulnerabilities. A red team exercise is a simulated cyber attack executed by a dedicated team of V experts, the red team, against an organization's systems, networks, and applications. Unlike traditional security assessments that test known vulnerabilities, red teams employ creative and unpredictable tactics to discover new and unforeseen weaknesses in the organization's defenses. A red team exercise is a cyber security and risk management practice that simulates real-world attacks on an organization's systems, networks, or processes. A red team exercise aims to identify vulnerabilities, test security controls, and assess the effectiveness of an organization's defenses. The term red team is derived from military exercises where one team, red team, simulates the adversary to challenge and assess the capabilities of the defending team, blue team. Benefits of red teaming for risk identification and management. 1. Uncovering blind spots, red teams go beyond static assessments, exploiting human errors, social engineering, and zero-day vulnerabilities that traditional tests might miss. This helps identify previously unknown weaknesses and hidden attack vectors. 2. Prioritizing risks, by simulating real-world attack scenarios, red teams can assess the potential impact of identified vulnerabilities, allowing organizations to prioritize mitigation efforts based on severity and potential damage. 3. Evaluating defenses, red teaming exercises test the effectiveness of existing security controls and incident response plans, highlighting areas where defenses are inadequate or easily bypassed. 4. Improving security awareness, engaging in simulated attacks raises awareness among employees and IT teams about potential threats and their role in security posture. 5. Building a security culture, red teaming fosters a proactive approach to security, encouraging continuous improvement and investment in effective cyber defenses. Examples of red team exercises for risk identification and management. 1. A financial institution conducts a red team exercise to test its online banking platform. The red team exploits a social engineering vulnerability to access customer accounts, exposing weaknesses in security awareness training and multi factor authentication protocols. The bank improves training, implements more robust authentication measures, and develops plans to respond to similar attacks in the future. 2. A healthcare provider engages a red team to simulate a ransomware attack. The red team successfully encrypts critical patient data, highlighting vulnerabilities in data backups and incident response plans. The healthcare provider updates their data backup systems, improves access control, and simulates disaster recovery scenarios to ensure preparedness for real-world threats. 3. A government agency hires a red team to assess their network security, the red team discovers zero-day vulnerabilities in their email filtering system, allowing them to gain unauthorized access to internal networks. 
the agency patches the vulnerabilities, implements security updates, and enhances its intrusion detection and prevention systems to mitigate future attacks. 4. An e-commerce website employs a red team to test its shopping cart and payment processing system, the red team finds ways to inject malicious code and steal customer credit card information, prompting the website to strengthen its coding practices and security encryption protocols. The website updates its code, implements additional security measures, and increases transparency about data protection practices to rebuild customer trust. Consequently, red team exercises are valuable tools for organizations to identify and address cybersecurity risks proactively. By simulating real-world scenarios, organizations can strengthen their security posture, enhance incident response capabilities, and continuously improve their resilience to cyber threats. Regular red team exercises contribute to a robust cybersecurity strategy and help organizations avoid evolving cybersecurity threats. By leveraging red team exercises strategically, organizations can gain valuable insights into their security vulnerabilities, proactively manage risks, and build more resilient IT infrastructure, ultimately protecting their sensitive data and assets from malicious actors. 59. Remote Work Assessment a remote work assessment is an organization's process to evaluate and ensure remote work arrangements effectiveness, security, and compliance. As remote work becomes more prevalent, especially with the rise of telecommuting and flexible work policies, organizations must assess various aspects to identify potential risks, enhance productivity, and ensure a secure and supportive remote work environment. A remote work assessment comprehensively evaluates an organization's preparedness, suitability, and effectiveness for supporting employees outside of a traditional office environment. It aims to identify potential risks, opportunities, and areas for improvement related to various aspects of remote work. Examples of remote work assessment for risk identification and management. 1. A tech company assessing their suitability for transitioning to a fully remote model, the assessment identifies the need for additional bandwidth upgrades, training programs for managers, and clear communication guidelines to manage dispersed teams effectively. The company addresses these aspects before transitioning, minimizing disruption and ensuring a smooth transition. 2. A financial institution evaluating their existing remote work policy, the assessment reveals concerns about potential burnout and work-life balance challenges for remote employees. The organization implements flexible work schedules, offers virtual wellness programs, and provides resources for managing remote work effectively. 3. A government agency conducting a compliance review of their remote work arrangements. The assessment highlights incorporated consistencies in data security practices and potential issues with labor regulations for remote employees. The agency updates its policies, enhances data security measures, and clarifies regulations to ensure compliance and mitigate legal risks. 4. A manufacturing company piloting a hybrid work model. The assessment identifies communication gaps and challenges in collaborating across remote and in-office teams. The company invests in collaboration tools, establishes clear communication protocols, and fosters opportunities for team building to bridge the physical distance. Conducting a comprehensive remote work assessment helps organizations identify and address potential risks associated with remote work. Organizations can create a secure productive, supportive remote work environment that aligns with business objectives and regulatory requirements by actively managing these risks. By conducting thorough remote work assessments, organizations can identify and manage risks effectively, create a thriving remote work culture, and optimize their operations for a distributed workforce, increasing employee satisfaction, productivity, and overall organizational success. 60. Fraud Detection Measures Fraud is any intentional deception made for personal gain or to damage an individual or organization. Fraud detection is identifying and preventing fraudulent activities within an organization. It involves using technology, 
analytics, and investigative techniques to recognize patterns, anomalies, or irregularities that may indicate fraudulent behavior. The goal is to detect and respond to fraudulent activities promptly to minimize financial losses, protect assets, and maintain the integrity of business operations. Fraud detection measures encompass a range of strategies, technologies, and procedures organizations implement to identify and mitigate the risks associated with fraudulent activities. Fraud detection involves identifying and preventing these deceitful activities across various domains, such as finance, insurance, and digital transactions. Implementing effective fraud detection measures is crucial for organizations to minimize financial losses, maintain trust, and ensure operational integrity. Importance of Fraud Detection 1. Protects financial assets, prevents unauthorized access to funds, fraudulent transactions, and other financial losses. 2. Maintains customer trust, detecting and addressing fraud fosters trust and confidence in an organization's security and fair practices. 3. Enhances brand reputation, minimizes reputational damage associated with fraud incidents and demonstrates commitment to ethical business practices. 4. Complies with regulations, many industries have regulations requiring specific fraud detection measures for compliance purposes. There are several fraud detection measures, including transaction monitoring, identity verification, data analysis, internal controls and employee training. Fraud detection measures are crucial for organizations to proactively identify, manage, and prevent fraudulent activities. By employing a combination of technology, analytics, training, and compliance checks, businesses can significantly reduce the risks associated with fraud and safeguard their financial well-being and reputation. By implementing a comprehensive approach to fraud detection, organizations can protect their assets, safeguard customer trust, and strengthen their overall security posture, ultimately ensuring a secure and ethical environment for all stakeholders. 61. Feedback Loops Feedback refers to information or responses about a process or outcome used to modify or improve that process. It entails returning information from an output of a system or action to its input or decision-making process. It provides insights into the effectiveness of those actions and allows for adjustments based on the results. It is essential in various systems and processes, providing valuable insights for continuous improvement. Feedback loops are mechanisms in a system where the output of a process is used as input to the same process, creating a loop. Feedback loops are how this information flows and influences future actions. Feedback loops can be positive or negative, influencing the system to amplify or stabilize its behavior. Importance of Feedback and Feedback Loops 1. Learning and Improvement Feedback helps identify what is working well and what needs improvement, promoting continuous learning and adaptation. 2. Risk identification and management, feedback loops expose potential risks and unintended consequences earlier, allowing for timely mitigation strategies. 3. Decision-making support, by providing insights into outcomes, feedback loops inform future decisions and guide adjustments for better results. 4. System optimization, systems and processes can be optimized for efficiency and effectiveness through iterative feedback and adjustments. Examples of feedback loops for risk identification and management. 1. Customer satisfaction surveys, customer feedback about their experience helps identify areas of improvement, potential risks to brand reputation, and opportunities to enhance customer satisfaction. Two. Project performance reviews, reviewing project progress against goals and deadlines allows for identifying risks like delays, budget overruns, or scope creep, enabling corrective actions to ensure project success. 3. Safety incident reporting, feedback from safety incidents helps identify hazards, improve safety protocols, and prevent future accidents, mitigating risks to employees and operations. 4. Security Vulnerability Testing, 
By simulating cyber attacks and identifying vulnerabilities, organizations can prioritize patching and improve their security posture, minimizing data breaches and unauthorized access risks. 5. Risk Management Metrics, Monitoring Key are ISK indicators like near misses, incident reports, and audit findings provides insights into the effectiveness of risk management strategies and prompts adjustments as needed. Feedback loops are integral to risk identification and management, enabling organizations to learn from experience, adapt to changing conditions, and continuously improve their risk mitigation strategies. By closing the loop through feedback, organizations enhance their ability to identify, assess, and manage risks effectively. By harnessing the power of feedback and establishing effective feedback loops, organizations gain valuable insights, anticipate and mitigate risks, and continuously improve their performance across all aspects, leading to a more resilient and prosperous future. 62. Data Privacy Compliance Data privacy compliance refers to the adherence to laws, regulations, and standards that govern the collection, use, storage, and sharing of personal information. Data privacy compliance aims to protect the rights and privacy of individuals whose personal data is being processed by organizations. Compliance with data privacy regulations is crucial for maintaining trust, avoiding legal consequences, and mitigating the risks of mishandling sensitive information. These regulations vary depending on the company's location and industry but generally focus on aspects like 1. Data collection and use, organizations must have a legitimate reason for collecting data and obtain explicit consent from individuals. 2. Data retention and deletion, personal data should only be retained for as long as necessary and securely deleted when no longer required. 3. Data security, appropriate technical and organizational measures must be implemented to safeguard personal data from unauthorized access, modification, or disclosure. 4. Individual rights, individuals have rights to access, rectify, and erase their data, along with the right to object to its processing. Importance of Data Privacy Compliance 1. Protects individuals privacy, ensures personal data is handled responsibly and respectfully, mitigating privacy risks and fostering trust. 2. Reduces reputational risks, non-compliance can lead to hefty fines, lawsuits, and damage to brand reputation. 3. Builds trust with customers and stakeholders, demonstrating commitment to data privacy enhances trust and strengthens relationships. 4. Improves data governance and security, compliance often necessitates robust data governance practices, improving overall data security. By actively identifying and managing risks related to data privacy compliance, organizations can protect the privacy rights of individuals, build trust with stakeholders, and avoid legal and reputational consequences associated with non-compliance. Regular assessments, audits, and updates to privacy practices are essential for maintaining a robust data privacy compliance framework. By prioritizing data privacy compliance and proactively managing risks, organizations can protect individual privacy, build trust, and minimize the legal and reputational risks associated with non-compliance. This creates a secure and ethical environment for everyone involved fostering responsible data practices for the future. 63. Fault Tree Analysis Fault Tree Analysis, FTA, is a powerful tool in risk management that helps an organization systematically identify and analyze the potential causes of an unwanted event. It is a systematic method for analyzing and visualizing the potential causes of a specific undesired event, often focusing on safety, reliability, or risk management. FTA employs a tree-like diagram to represent the logical relationships among various contributing factors that may lead to the undesired event. It is commonly used to identify the root causes of failures or accidents and to assess the probability of those events occurring. Building a visual representation of the event and its contributing factors enables an organization to identify critical weaknesses and develop effective mitigation strategies. 
Benefits of Fault Tree Analysis in Risk Management 1. Comprehensive risk identification, uncovers potential causes of failures or undesired events that might be overlooked in other analyses. 2. Structured approach, provides a clear and organized framework for analyzing complex problems and their contributing factors. 3. Quantitative analysis, this helps to estimate the probability of the undesired event occurring based on the likelihood of individual contributing factors. 4. Prioritization, helps identify critical points of failure based on their contribution to the overall risk, guiding resource allocation for mitigation. 5. Communication and collaboration, provides a clear visual representation of the risk and its causes, facilitating stakeholder communication and collaboration. Fault tree analysis process for risk identification and management. 1. Define the undesired event, clearly define the undesired event or failure to be analyzed. This could be a safety incident, a system failure, or any event that risks the organization. 2. Identify basic events, identify the primary events or factors that directly contribute to the undesired event. These are the lowest level events that are not further decomposed. 3. Construct the fault tree, create a fault tree diagram by representing the undesired event at the top, root, and connecting it with logical gates and essential events. The logical gates indicate the relationships between events. 4. Use logical gates, use and gates to show that all connected events must occur for the undesired event to happen. Use or gates to indicate that any connected event is sufficient to cause the undesired event. 5. Define intermediate events, if necessary, introduce intermediate events representing combinations of primary events. These can be used to simplify the fault tree and enhance the clarity. 6. Assign probabilities, assign probabilities to the primary events, representing the likelihood of each event occurring. This is often based on historical data, expert judgment and statistical analysis. 7. Evaluate top event probability, calculate the probability of the top event, undesired event, by combining the probabilities of the contributing events using the logical gates. 8. Analyze and interpret results, analyze the fault tree to identify critical paths, common causes, and potential weaknesses. Interpreting the results to understand the key contributors to the undesired event is also essential. 9. Develop mitigation strategies, based on the analysis, develop mitigation strategies to address the identified root causes and reduce the likelihood of the undesired event. Advantages of Fault Tree Analysis in Risk Management 1. Systematic analysis, provides a systematic and structured approach to analyzing the potential causes of undesired events. 2. Visual representation, offers a visual representation of complex relationships and dependencies among contributing factors. 3. Probability assessment, allows for assessing probabilities associated with different events, aiding in quantitative risk analysis. 4. Identification of critical paths, helps identify critical paths or combinations of events most likely to lead to the undesired event. 5. Root cause analysis, facilitates root cause analysis by breaking down complex events into simpler components. 6. Decision support, provides valuable insights for risk management and mitigation planning decision making. Examples of fault tree analysis for risk identification. 1. Product failure, analyzing potential causes of product failure due to design flaws, manufacturing defects, material inconsistencies, or improper use. 2. Cybersecurity breach, identifying potential pathways for hackers to access sensitive data, including system vulnerabilities, social engineering attacks, or malicious software infiltration. 3. Project delay, examining potential contributing factors like resource scarcity, technical challenges, poor planning, or communication breakdowns. 4. Power outage, analyzing potential causes like equipment failure, weather events, 
transmission line disruptions, or human error. 5. Accident at a construction site, investigating potential safety hazards leading to accidents, such as improper equipment use, inadequate training, fatigue, or environmental factors. Effective utilization of fault tree analysis by an organization helps get a deeper understanding of potential risks, prioritize mitigation efforts, and make informed decisions to optimize its risk management strategy, ultimately building a safer and more resilient organization. Fault tree analysis is a powerful tool for understanding the factors contributing to undesired events and making informed decisions to manage and mitigate risks effectively. It is widely used in engineering, D, safety, and cybersecurity industries to enhance the reliability and safety of systems and processes. 64. Swift Analysis The structured what-if technique, SWIFT, is used in risk assessment and hazard analysis. It is a systematic approach to identifying potential risks and evaluating their consequences. Swift analysis involves a structured and organized examination of scenarios to anticipate potential hazards and their impacts. This technique benefits high-risk industries such as chemical processing, manufacturing, and nuclear power plants. Benefits of Swift Analysis 1. Encourages creativity. The what-if prompts stimulate diverse perspectives and help uncover potential risks that might be overlooked in traditional assessments. 2. Easy to use, requires minimal preparation and can be readily implemented even with limited resources. 3. Promotes collaboration, encourages participation from various stakeholders, fostering shared understanding and ownership of identified risks. 4. Cost effective, requires no specialized software or training, making it accessible to organizations of all sizes. 5. Improves communication, the documented results ensure clear communication and awareness of potential risks among stakeholders. Advantages of swift analysis in risk management 1. Systematic exploration, provides a systematic approach for exploring potential risks and hazards. 2. Multidisciplinary involvement, involves experts from various disciplines, ensuring a comprehensive analysis. 3. Early identification, allows for the early identification of risks before implementing a process or change. 4. Structured documentation, provides structured documentation of identified risks, causes, and consequences. 5. Prioritization, facilitates risk prioritization based on severity and likelihood. 6. Informed decision making, supports informed decision making by considering various scenarios and potential outcomes. Swift analysis process for risk identification and management. 1. Define the scenario, clearly define the scenario or process to be analyzed. This could be a specific operation, a change in procedures, or the introduction of a new technology. 2. Assemble a multidisciplinary team. Form a team of experts from various relevant disciplines who can contribute their knowledge and perspectives to the analysis. 3. Generate what-if questions, encourage team members to generate what-if questions about the scenario. These questions should explore potential deviations, unexpected events, or failure modes. 4. Organize the questions, Group the generated questions into categories, making it easier to manage and analyze. Common categories may include equipment failures, human errors, external factors, or process deviations. 5. Evaluate scenarios. For each what-if question, systematically evaluate the potential consequences and impacts on the process. Consider the likelihood and severity of each identified risk. 6. Document findings. Document the findings, including the identified risks, their potential causes, and the estimated consequences. Use a structured format for consistency. 7. Risk ranking, prioritize the identified risks based on their potential severity and likelihood. This can help focus resources on addressing the most critical issues. 8. 
Develop mitigation strategies. Develop mitigation strategies for the identified risks based on the analysis. This may involve procedure changes, additional safety measures, or implementing redundant systems. Swift analysis helps an organization gain insights into potential risks, encourage open communication, and lay the foundation for proactive risk management, ultimately creating a safer and more resilient environment for a project or an organization. Swift analysis is a valuable tool in risk management, helping organizations proactively identify and address potential hazards before they lead to adverse consequences. It encourages a structured and collaborative approach to risk assessment, enhancing overall safety and operational reliability. 65. Boat Tie Analysis Boat Tie Analysis is a visual risk management tool that resembles a bow tie. Hence the name Bow Tie Analysis. Bow Tie Analysis is a risk management technique visually representing the relationship between potential causes, consequences, and control measures for a specific hazard or risk scenario. The analysis takes its name from the shape of the diagram, which resembles a bow tie. This method is particularly effective in high-risk industries such as aviation, healthcare, and oil and gas. It provides a comprehensive and structured approach to identifying and managing risks by highlighting three key elements. 1. Top event the undesired outcome or incident a firm wants to avoid, represented by the knot in the bow tie. 2. Threats, events or conditions that can directly lead to the top event, depicted by the left side of the bow tie. 3. Controls, measures implemented to prevent or mitigate the threats and their impact on the top event, represented by the right side of the bow tie. Benefits of bow tie analysis. 1. Enhanced risk understanding provides a holistic view of the risk landscape, including its causes, consequences, and mitigation strategies. 2. Proactive approach, focuses on preventing threats before they materialize, promoting a proactive risk management culture. 3. Clear communication, the visual format effectively communicates risk information to a broad audience, from technical experts to management. 4. Prioritization, helps identify critical threats and allocate resources efficiently for mitigation efforts. 5. Dynamic and adaptable, can be easily updated to reflect changes in the environment or risk profile. Components of Bowtie Analysis 1. Great, top event, the undesired event or hazard that is the focus of the analysis. This is placed at the center of the Bowtie Diagram. 2. Causes, left side of the bow tie, the factors that can lead to the occurrence of the top event. Causes are depicted on the left side of the bow tie. 3. Consequences, right side of the bow tie, the potential outcomes or consequences of the top event. These are depicted on the right side of the bow tie. 4. Barriers slash controls, tie in the middle. The preventive and mitigative measures or barriers that can reduce the likelihood of the causes leading to the top event and limit the severity of the consequences. These are placed in the middle of the bow tie, forming the tie. Process of bow tie analysis in risk identification and management. 1. Define the top event, define the top event or hazard to be analyzed. This is the central focus of the bow tie analysis. 2. Identify causes. Identify the potential causes or threats that could lead to the occurrence of the top event. These are placed on the left side of the bow tie. 3. Identify consequences. Identify the potential consequences or outcomes if the top event were to occur. These are placed on the right side of the bow tie. 4. Identify barriers slash controls. Identify the preventive and mitigative measures or controls that are in place to manage and mitigate the identified causes. These are placed in the middle of the bow tie, forming the tie. 5. Assess likelihood and severity. Assess the likelihood of the causes leading to the top event and the severity of the consequences. This can be done qualitatively or quantitatively. 6. Review and update, regularly review and update the bow tie analysis to ensure that it remains relevant and reflects changes in the organization, processes, or external factors. 
Advantages of Bowtie Analysis in Risk Management 1. Visual Representation provides a clear and visual representation of the relationships between causes, consequences, and control measures. 2. Comprehensive understanding, helps in obtaining a comprehensive understanding of the risk scenario, including potential vulnerabilities and protective measures. 3. Effective communication, facilitates effective communication of risk-related information to various stakeholders. 4. Prioritization of controls, assists in prioritizing and focusing efforts on the most critical control measures for risk mitigation. 5. Identification of critical scenarios, identifies critical scenarios that require attention and resources for effective risk management. 6. Continuous improvement, supports continuous improvement by encouraging regular reviews and updates to reflect changes in the operational environment. Incorporating bowtie analysis into an organization's risk management strategy helps in understanding possible risks, prioritizing mitigation efforts, and proactively managing potential threats, ultimately fostering a safer and more secure environment for the company. Bowtie analysis is a valuable tool for organizations with complex and high-risk processes. It enhances risk awareness, guides the development of effective risk management strategies, and contributes to a proactive safety culture. 66. Decision Tree Analysis Decision Tree Analysis, DTA, is a powerful tool in risk management used to evaluate different options and make informed decisions in the face of uncertainty. It helps visualize the potential outcomes of various choices, considering their associated probabilities and impacts. Benefits of Decision Tree Analysis in Risk Management 1. Structured Approach Simplifies complex decisions by listing all available options, potential outcomes, and associated probabilities. 2. Quantitative Analysis Assigns monetary values to outcomes, allowing for a data-driven comparison of choices. 3. Risk Identification Highlights potential risks for each decision path, guiding mitigation strategies. 4. Prioritization, helps compare expected values of different options, facilitating the selection of the most favorable outcome. 5. Improved communication, enhances communication of risk assessments and decision-making processes among stakeholders. Critical components of a decision tree. 1. Decision nodes, points where a choice needs to be made, represented by squares. 2. Chance nodes, points where uncertainties occur, represented by circles. 3. Branches, pathways representing different C. Hoises are outcomes from each node. 4. Probabilities, assigned to each branch, reflecting the likelihood of each outcome occurring. 5. Payoffs, values assigned to each outcome, typically representing their financial impact. Decision tree analysis process in risk identification and management. 1. Define the decision problem. Clearly define the problem or scenario requiring analysis. This could be a business decision, project choice, or any situation with multiple alternatives. 2. Identify decision nodes. Identify decision points where choices must be made. Decision nodes are often represented as squares in the decision tree. 3. Identify chance nodes. Identify uncertain events or factors affecting the decision. Assign probabilities to each possible outcome. Chance nodes are represented as circles in the decision tree. 4. Determine outcomes, identify the potential outcomes associated with each chance node. Outcomes represent the possible results or consequences of a decision or event. 5. Assign values or costs, assign values or costs to each outcome. These values could be monetary, qualitative, or other relevant measures. 6. Calculate expected values. Calculate the expected value for each chance node by multiplying the probability of each outcome by its associated value and summing the results. 7. Decision criteria. Establish criteria based on maximizing expected value, 
minimizing costs, or achieving specific objectives. 8. Evaluate alternatives, consider the expected values and decision criteria. Advantages of decision tree analysis in risk management. 1. Visualization, provides a visual representation of decision alternatives, outcomes, and associated probabilities. 2. Structured decision making, guides decision makers through a structured process, helping them consider various scenarios. 3. Quantitative analysis, assigning values and probabilities to outcomes facilitates quantitative analysis. 4. Risk assessment, helps assess and manage risks by considering potential uncertainties. 5. Objective decision making, encourages objective decision making by considering quantitative and qualitative factors. 6. Scenario analysis, allows for scenario analysis, enabling the evaluation of different decision paths. By effectively utilizing DTA, a firm can gain valuable insights into the potential consequences of its choices, make data-driven decisions under uncertainty, and ultimately create a more risk-resilient and successful organization. Decision tree analysis is a versatile tool in risk management that assists organizations in making informed decisions under uncertainty. It helps quantify risks, weigh alternatives, and choose the most favorable course of action based on a comprehensive assessment of potential outcomes. 67. Horizontal Scanning Horizontal scanning, also known as horizon scanning, is a proactive risk management practice that systematically gathers and analyzes information about emerging trends, issues, and events outside the organization's immediate environment. It helps anticipate potential threats and opportunities before they directly impact the organization. Benefits of Horizontal Scanning 1. Early Warning of Emerging Risks identifies potential risks in their early stages, allowing for proactive mitigation and preparedness. 2. Identifying opportunities, uncovers new developments and trends that could create business opportunities or competitive advantages. 3. Enhanced strategic planning, informs strategic decision making by providing insights into future scenarios and potential disruptions. 4. Improved innovation, stimulates creative thinking and fosters a culture of continuous learning and adaptation. 5. Competitive advantage, enables an organization to stay ahead of the curve and be better prepared for future challenges than competitors. Key activities in horizontal scanning. 1. Monitoring external sources, this includes news, social media, industry reports, academic publications, government reports, and competitor activities. 2. Identifying weak signals, subtle hints of possible future changes that might seem insignificant initially. 3. Analyzing and interpreting information, understanding the potential implications of identified trends and issues for the organization. 4. Sharing insights and collaborating, discuss findings with stakeholders and develop action plans. Examples of horizontal scanning in risk management. A technology company, scanning for emerging technologies that could disrupt their product offerings or create new market opportunities. A financial institution, monitoring regulatory changes, economic trends, and geopolitical events that could impact financial stability. A healthcare organization, assessing potential threats from new epidemics, changes in public health policy, and advancements in medical technology. A consumer goods company, identifying shifts in consumer preferences, sustainability concerns, and technological innovations that could influence product design and marketing strategies. A non-profit organization, analyzing social, environmental, and political trends that could affect their mission and target audience. By taking a proactive approach to horizontal scanning, a firm can gain valuable insights into the future, adapt to emerging challenges, and seize opportunities for growth and innovation, ultimately contributing to a more resilient and successful organization. 68. Risk Mapping A risk map, 
or a risk heat map, is a data visualization tool for communicating specific risks an organization faces. A risk map helps organizations to identify and prioritize the risks associated with their operations. Risk mapping will assist in thoroughly understanding its risk profile and appetite and the nature and impact of risks to improve the organization's risk assessment model. An organization's risk map is often presented as a two-dimensional matrix. For example, the likelihood that a risk will occur may be plotted on the x-axis, and the impact of the risk is plotted on the y-axis. The identified risks can then be classified into high-frequency and high-severity categories. Suppose the organization is dispersed geographically, and specific risks are associated with some geographical regions. In that case, risks might be illustrated with a heat map, using color to illustrate the levels of risk to which individual branch offices are exposed. The first step in creating a risk map is to identify potential risks. Identification of inherent risks is the first step in creating a risk map. Risks can be broadly categorized into strategic, compliance, operational, financial, and reputational risks. However, organizations should aim to chart their lists by considering specific factors that might affect them financially. Once the risks have been identified, it is necessary to understand what internal or external events drive the risks. The next step is to evaluate the risks by estimating the frequency, the potential impact and possible control processes to offset the risks. The risks should then be prioritized. The most impactful risks can be managed by applying control processes to help lessen their potential occurrence. As threats evolve and vulnerabilities change, a risk map must be re-evaluated periodically. Organizations must also review their risk maps regularly to manage critical risks effectively. 69. Analyze past events. Analyzing past events, also known as historical or incident analysis, is a crucial component of risk identification and management. This involves studying and learning from past incidents or events to identify the factors that contributed to the occurrence, understand the impact, and implement measures to prevent or mitigate similar incidents in the future. Analyzing past events is a crucial aspect of risk management. By examining past events, a firm could learn valuable lessons, identify potential future risks, and implement strategies to prevent them from happening again. This retrospective approach helps organizations proactively manage risks and create a safer and more resilient environment. Benefits of Analyzing Past Events for Risk Management 1. Proactive risk identification, enables organizations to identify and address potential risks before they escalate proactively. 2. Continuous improvement, facilitates a culture of continuous improvement by learning from past mistakes and incidents. 3. Informed decision-making, provides valuable insights for informed decision-making in risk management and strategy development. 4. Enhanced preparedness, contributes to preparedness for future risks by addressing vulnerabilities and weaknesses. 5. Resource optimization, optimizes resource allocation by focusing on areas where improvements are most needed based on past events. Process of analyzing past events in risk management. 1. Data collection, gather detailed information about past incidents or events. This includes the nature of the event, the context, contributing factors, and the outcomes. 2. Root cause analysis, conduct a thorough root cause analysis to identify the underlying factors that led to the incident. This involves exploring both immediate causes and deeper systemic issues. 3. Categorization of risks categorize the risks associated with the past events. This helps organize information and understand the risks the organization may face. 4. Impact assessment, assess the impact of past events on various aspects of the organization, including safety, financials, reputation, and operational efficiency. 5. Documentation, document the findings of the analysis. This documentation is a valuable resource for future reference and a basis for developing risk management strategies. 6. 
Identification of patterns and trends, look for patterns and trends across multiple incidents. Identifying commonalities helps in understanding recurring risks and vulnerabilities. 7. Lessons learned, extract lessons learned from past events. Understand what worked well, what did not, and what improvements can be made to enhance risk management practices. 8. Risk mitigation strategies, develop and implement risk mitigation strategies based on the lessons learned. This may involve updating procedures, enhancing training programs, or implementing new safety measures. Examples of analyzing past events in risk management. Industrial accidents, past incidents of industrial accidents, such as chemical spills or equipment failures, can be analyzed to identify the root causes. This analysis may improve equipment maintenance procedures, safety protocols, and emergency response plans. Data breaches, organizations that have experienced data breaches can analyze the events to understand how the breaches occurred. This may involve examining vulnerabilities in cybersecurity systems, addressing weaknesses in data protection policies, and improving employee training on data security. Natural disasters, analyzing the impact of past natural disasters on the organization helps identify vulnerabilities in infrastructure and supply chains. This analysis can inform the development of disaster preparedness plans and resilience strategies. Operational failures, organizations facing operational failures, such as supply chain disruptions or production delays can analyze past incidents to identify weaknesses in their processes. This may improve supply chain management, logistics, and contingency planning. Workplace incidents, analyzing workplace incidents, such as accidents or injuries, helps identify safety hazards and improve safety protocols. This may include changes in equipment design, employee training, and the implementation of safety measures. A firm can identify and mitigate possible risks by analyzing past events, creating a safer and more resilient environment for the organization. Analyzing past events is a valuable aspect of risk management, contributing to organizational resilience and developing effective strategies to mitigate and prevent risks. It helps organizations learn from experience and adapt to evolving challenges in their operational environment. 70. Stakeholders consultation. Stakeholder consultation involves engaging and involving relevant stakeholders in discussions, decision making, and information exchange regarding an organization's project, initiative, or aspect. Stakeholder consultation is essential for gathering diverse perspectives, insights, and expertise in risk identification and management to assess and address potential risks comprehensively. Stakeholder Consultation Process for Risk Identification and Management 1. Identifying Key Stakeholders Identify and list the key stakeholders with an interest or influence in the project or organization. This may include internal and external parties such as employees, customers, suppliers, regulators, and community members. 2. Communication planning, develop a communication plan that outlines how and when stakeholders will be engaged. Consider the appropriate channels, frequency of communication, and the level of detail to be shared. 3. Conducting consultations, actively engage stakeholders through various methods such as meetings, workshops, surveys, interviews, or focus groups. Seek their input on potential risks, concerns, and opportunities related to the project or organizational activities. 4. Sharing information, provide relevant information about the context, objectives, and potential risks to stakeholders. Transparent communication helps stakeholders understand the challenges and opportunities associated with the project or organization. 5. Receiving feedback, encourage stakeholders to share their feedback, concerns, and suggestions regarding risk identification and management. This two-way communication fosters collaboration and inclusivity. 6. Incorporating stakeholder input, integrate the insights and feedback received from stakeholders into the risk identification and management processes.
consider their perspectives when assessing the likelihood and impact of risks. 7. Collaborative Risk Assessment Facilitate collaborative risk assessment sessions where stakeholders can actively identify, assess, and prioritize risks. This ensures a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of potential risks. 8. Iterative process, make stakeholder consultation an iterative process throughout the project life cycle. Regularly update stakeholders on risk management activities and seek their ongoing input. Examples of stakeholder consultation in risk identification and management. Infrastructure project, before initiating a large infrastructure project, engage with local communities, environmental groups, and government agencies. Consultation can help identify potential environmental risks, social concerns, and regulatory requirements. Product development, when developing a new product, involve key stakeholders such as customers, marketing teams, and supply chain partners. Their insights can help identify market risks, customer preferences, and potential supply chain disruptions. Regulatory compliance, in industries subject to strict regulations, regularly consult with regulatory authorities to stay informed about changes in compliance requirements. This proactive approach helps identify and address compliance risks. Technology implementation, before implementing new technologies, consult IT experts, end users, and data privacy specialists. Stakeholder input can help identify cybersecurity risks, user acceptance challenges, and data protection concerns. Organizational change, during significant organizational changes, consult with employees, unions, and leadership teams. Stakeholder consultation can help identify potential resistance to change, workforce morale risks, and challenges adapting to new processes. Benefits of Stakeholder Consultation in Risk Identification and Management 1. Diverse Perspectives, incorporates a variety of viewpoints, experiences, and expertise, leading to a more comprehensive risk assessment. 2. Early Risk Identification, enables the early identification of risks and challenges by tapping into the collective knowledge of stakeholders. 3. Enhanced Risk Mitigation, facilitates the development of more effective risk mitigation strategies by considering the perspectives of those directly affected. 4. Increased stakeholder support, fosters a sense of ownership and collaboration, leading to increased stakeholder support in implementing risk management measures. 5. Improved decision-making, enhances the quality of decision-making by integrating the insights and concerns of stakeholders into risk management processes. 6. Proactive issue resolution, supports proactive resolution by addressing concerns before they escalate into significant risks. 7. Builds trust, builds trust among stakeholders as they see their input is valued and considered in the risk management process. Engaging stakeholders through consultation helps build trust and collaboration and manage risks effectively, creating a more resilient and successful organization. Stakeholder consultation is a crucial aspect of a robust risk management strategy. By actively engaging with those who have a vested interest in a project or organization, stakeholders can contribute valuable information that strengthens risk identification, assessment, and mitigation efforts. 71. Quality Control Process Audits Quality control process audits involve systematic reviews and assessments of an organization's quality control processes to ensure they are effective, efficient, and aligned with established standards and requirements. In the context of risk identification and management, these audits help identify potential risks associated with the quality control processes and ensure that measures are in place to mitigate them. Quality Control Process Audits QCPA, are systematic and independent evaluations of an organization's quality control processes and procedures. Their primary purpose is to ensure that these processes effectively meet established quality standards and identify areas for improvement.
This directly ties into risk identification and management because ineffective quality control processes can lead to various risks, such as 1. Production of defective products or services can lead to customer dissatisfaction, financial losses, and reputational damage. 2. Non-compliance with regulations can result in fines, penalties, and even legal action. 3. Safety hazards, poor quality control in product development or manufacturing can put consumers and employees at risk. 4. Inefficient processes, ineffective quality control can lead to wasted resources, time delays, and increased costs. Process of Quality Control Process Audits 1. Establish audit objectives, define the objectives of the quality control process audit, specifying the aspects of quality control that will be assessed. This could include examining procedures, documentation, training programs, and adherence to quality standards. 2. Plan the audit, develop an audit plan that outlines the audit's scope, criteria, and methodology. Identify key stakeholders, audit team members, and a schedule for the audit activities. 3. Conducting the audit, perform the audit activities, which may include document reviews, interviews with personnel, observation of processes, and sampling of records. Evaluate whether the quality control processes are being followed as intended. 4. Identify risks. During the audit, identify any potential risks or weaknesses in the quality control processes. This involves looking for deviations from established procedures, inadequate training, lack of documentation, or other factors that may compromise product or service quality. 5. Assess compliance. Assess the organization's compliance with relevant quality standards, regulations, and industry best practices. Non-compliance with these requirements may threaten the organization's reputation and legal standing. 6. Evaluate effectiveness. Evaluate the effectiveness of the quality control processes in achieving their intended outcomes. This includes assessing whether the processes can detect and prevent defects or errors. 7. Document findings, document the audit findings, including identified risks, areas of non-compliance, and opportunities for improvement. Use a standardized format for documentation to facilitate reporting and analysis. 8. Risk mitigation strategies, develop and recommend risk mitigation strategies based on the identified risks. This may involve updating procedures, enhancing training programs, implementing additional quality checks, or other measures to strengthen the quality control processes. 9. Communicate results. Communicate the audit results to relevant stakeholders, including management and those responsible for the quality control processes. Provide clear and actionable recommendations for improvement. 10. Monitor and follow up. Monitor the implementation of recommended improvements and conduct follow up audits to verify that corrective actions have been taken. This ensures continuous improvement in quality control processes. Examples of quality control process audits in risk management Manufacturing industry In a manufacturing setting, a quality control process audit may assess the production line processes, equipment calibration, and adherence to product specifications. Risks identified could include equipment malfunctions, inadequate training, or deviations from quality standards. Healthcare sector, in healthcare, a quality control process audit may focus on patient care procedures, medical record documentation, and compliance with healthcare regulations. Risks identified could include patient safety concerns, documentation errors, or non-compliance with regulatory requirements. Software development. For a software development company, a quality control process audit may examine coding practices, testing procedures, and adherence to software development standards. Risks identified could include coding errors, inadequate testing, or non-compliance with industry coding standards. Food industry. In the food industry, a quality control process audit may assess food safety protocols hygiene practices, and compliance with food safety regulations.
Risks identified could include contamination risks, improper storage practices, or non-compliance with food safety standards. Construction projects, in construction, a quality control process audit may focus on construction methods, material quality checks, and adherence to building codes. Risks identified could include structural integrity concerns, substandard materials, or deviations from building regulations. Benefits of quality control process audits in risk management. 1. Early risk identification, identifies potential risks in quality control processes before they lead to defects or non-compliance. 2. Continuous improvement, facilitates continuous improvement by highlighting areas for enhancement in quality control procedures. 3. Compliance assurance, ensures compliance with relevant quality standards, regulations, and industry best practices. 4. Risk mitigation strategies, provides insights for developing and implementing effective risk mitigation strategies. 5. Enhanced product slash service quality, contributes to enhancing overall product or service quality by addressing identified risks. 6. Customer satisfaction, contributes to customer satisfaction by minimizing the likelihood of defects and ensuring consistent quality. 7. Operational efficiency, why, improves operational efficiency by streamlining and optimizing quality control processes. Incorporating QCPAs into a firm's risk management strategy helps identify and address weaknesses in its quality control system, minimize risks associated with defective products or services, and ultimately achieve better quality outcomes for the company. Quality control process audits ensure that an organization's products or services meet or exceed quality standards. By systematically assessing and addressing risks in quality control, organizations can enhance their overall risk management practices and deliver higher quality products or services to their customers. 72. Cultural Risk Assessment Cultural risk assessment refers to systematically evaluating an organization's culture regarding its potential impact on achieving objectives and managing risks. It delves into the values, beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors that shape how things are done within the organization and identifies how these cultural elements might pose risks to success. Cultural risk assessment involves evaluating the organizational culture and its impact on risk identification management, and mitigation. Organizational culture plays a significant role in shaping how individuals perceive and respond to risks. This type of assessment aims to understand the cultural factors that may influence risk-taking behavior, communication, and the overall effectiveness of risk management processes. Benefits of Cultural Risk Assessment 1. Proactive Risk Identification and Mitigation uncovers hidden risks stemming from ingrained cultural norms that might otherwise go unnoticed. It supports proactive mitigation of cultural risks to enhance overall risk management effectiveness. 2. Improved risk management, helps tailor risk mitigation strategies to address specific organizational cultural challenges. 3. Enhanced decision-making, provides insights into how cultural factors might influence decision-making and potential consequences. 4. Promotes open communication, encourages discussions about cultural norms and potential risks, fostering transparency and trust. 5. Builds a stronger culture, identifies opportunities to improve organizational culture for better collaboration, efficiency, and risk management. 6. Early identification of cultural risks, enables early identification of cultural factors contributing to risks. 7. Tailored risk management strategies, helps tailor risk management strategies to align with the organization's cultural context. 8. Improved communication, identifies communication gaps and supports improvements in transparent communication about risks. 9. Enhanced risk awareness, increases organizational awareness of the importance of cultural factors in risk management. 10. 
cultural alignment with strategy, ensures the organizational culture aligns with strategic risk management objectives. Process of Cultural Risk Assessment 1. Define Assessment Scope Clearly define the scope of the cultural risk assessment, specifying the aspects of organizational culture to be examined. This may include communication norms, attitudes toward risk, leadership styles, and the organization's approach to innovation. 2. Identify cultural dimensions, choose relevant cultural dimensions to assess, such as risk tolerance, openness to change, communication styles, and the level of trust within the organization. These dimensions provide a framework for understanding cultural influences on risk. 3. Gather data, collect data through surveys, interviews, focus groups, and observations. This data may include employees' perceptions of risk, their experiences with risk management processes, and their views on how the organization handles uncertainties. 4. Analyze cultural factors, analyze cultural factors that may impact risk identification and management. This involves examining how cultural norms, values, and behaviors support or hinder effective risk management practices. 5. Identify cultural risks. Identify cultural risks by assessing how the organization's culture may contribute to vulnerabilities or weaknesses in risk management. For example, a culture discouraging open communication may lead to underreporting risks. 6. Assess risk tolerance, evaluate the organization's risk tolerance level within its cultural context. This assessment helps determine whether the organization is more risk averse or risk tolerant and whether this aligns with its strategic objectives. 7. Communication analysis, analyze organizational communication patterns, as effective communication is critical for identifying and managing risks. It is crucial to ensure transparency in communicating the barriers regarding the risks. 8. Leadership Evaluation Evaluate leadership styles and their impact on risk management. Leadership encouraging a proactive risk identification and mitigation approach contributes to a positive risk culture. 9. Benchmarking against best practices Benchmark the organization's cultural risk factors against industry best practices and standards. This provides insights into areas where the organization can improve its risk culture. 10. Develop cultural risk mitigation strategies. Develop strategies to mitigate cultural risks based on the assessment findings. This may involve implementing training programs, fostering a culture of open communication, or aligning leadership behaviors with effective risk management. By conducting cultural risk assessments, organizations can gain valuable insights into their cultural blind spots, proactively address potential risks, and build a culture that supports achieving objectives and effective risk management, ultimately leading to a more prosperous and resilient organization. Cultural risk assessment is a valuable tool for organizations seeking to understand and address the cultural dynamics that impact their approach to risk. By identifying and mitigating cultural risks, organizations can foster a risk-aware culture that aligns with their strategic goals and enhances overall resilience. 73. Thinking Pessimistically Thinking pessimistically, while often associated with negativity, can be a valuable tool in risk management when implemented strategically. Instead of being purely negative, it is about adopting a preventive mindset that anticipates and prepares for potential problems. Thinking pessimistically, in the context of risk identification and management, refers to adopting a mindset that actively considers and anticipates negative outcomes, potential failures, and adverse scenarios. It involves critically evaluating potential risks, vulnerabilities, and uncertainties that may impact a project, initiative, or organization. While it may seem counterintuitive, being pessimistic is a valuable approach in risk management as it helps identify and prepare for worst-case scenarios, enabling organizations to develop robust risk mitigation strategies. Critical Aspects of Thinking Pessimistically in Risk Management 1. Anticipating worst-case scenarios, 
Thinking pessimistically involves imagining and exploring the worst possible outcomes of various risks. This includes considering the most severe consequences, the highest impact, and the lowest probability scenarios. 2. Identifying potential failures, this entails critically examining processes, systems, and plans to identify potential points of failure. Organizations can uncover vulnerabilities that may lead to undesirable outcomes by questioning assumptions and seeking weaknesses. 3. Risk assessment with a critical lens, adopting a pessimistic mindset during risk assessment involves looking beyond optimistic projections and evaluating risks with a critical lens. It requires considering not only the likelihood of success but also the likelihood of failure. 4. Scenario planning for adverse events, thinking pessimistically includes scenario planning focusing on adverse events and crises. This allows organizations to prepare contingency plans for situations severely impacting operations. 5. Embracing a realistic perspective, while pessimistic thinking involves considering negative possibilities, it is grounded in realism. It encourages organizations to acknowledge potential risks rather than ignore or downplay them. Benefits of thinking pessimistically in risk management 1. Early risk identification helps in identifying potential risks early in the planning and decision making processes. 2. Robust risk mitigation facilitates the development of robust risk mitigation strategies by addressing worst case scenarios. 3. Contingency planning, encourages organizations to develop contingency plans for adverse events and crises. 4. Improved resilience, contributes to organizational resilience by preparing for and addressing potential failures. 5. Realistic risk assessments, promotes a realistic and comprehensive assessment of risks, avoiding over-optimism. 6. Enhanced preparedness, fosters a culture of preparedness, ensuring organizations are ready to respond to unforeseen challenges. 7. Encourages critical thinking, pessimistic thinking fosters a deeper analysis of potential issues, challenging assumptions and prompting a thorough risk assessment. 8. Facilitates open communication, when encouraged healthily, a culture of what-if thinking can encourage open communication about potential problems and foster collaborative risk management. Potential drawbacks of thinking pessimistically. It is crucial to manage pessimistic thinking effectively to avoid its pitfalls, including 1. Paralysis by analysis, overthinking worst-case scenarios can lead to inaction and missed opportunities. 2. Creates negative environment, excessive negativity can harm morale and demotivate team members. 3. Discourages innovation, an overly pessimistic outlook can hinder creative thinking and the pursuit of new ideas. Key to effective pessimistic thinking. 1. Balance it with optimism, maintain a realistic perspective, acknowledging potential challenges and opportunities. 2. Focus on solutions, do not dwell on problems. Brainstorm and implement mitigation strategies for identified risks. 3. Use it as a tool, not a mindset, view it as a temporary frame of mind for exploring potential issues, not a permanent attitude. 4. Foster open communication, create a safe space for discussing potential problems and collaborating on solutions. Pessimistic thinking helps a firm avoid its pitfalls, ultimately shaping a more resilient and proactive approach to risk identification and management. While thinking pessimistically is essential to risk management, it should be balanced with optimism and a proactive approach to risk mitigation. The goal is not to instill fear but to cultivate a thorough, realistic, and well-prepared mindset for various potential challenges. 74. Consult an expert. Consulting an expert is a risk management strategy that involves seeking advice, insights, and guidance from individuals with specialized knowledge and experience in a particular domain. Experts possess expertise in specific areas and can provide valuable input to help organizations identify, assess, and mitigate risks.
Consulting an expert is a helpful step in risk identification and management, regardless of the size and complexity of the organization. Benefits of consulting an expert for risk identification and management. 1. Specialized knowledge, access to specialized knowledge and expertise in specific risk areas. 2. Informed decision making. Informed decision making is based on insights from individuals who deeply understand relevant fields. 3. Objectivity and unbiased perspective. External experts offer an unbiased view of the situation, free from internal biases or preconceived notions, potentially leading to the identification of hidden risks. 4. Risk mitigation strategies. Developing effective risk mitigation strategies tailored to the organization's unique challenges. 5. Proactive risk identification, proactively identifying potential risks through the lens of experts who have encountered similar challenges. 6. Optimized resource allocation, optimize resource allocation by focusing efforts on areas identified as high risk by experts. 7. Improved risk management practices, incorporation of best practices and lessons learned from experienced professionals, enhancing overall risk management practices. 8. Guidance on best practices and industry standards, standards help ensure that a firm's operations and processes meet acceptable practices and industry standards, promoting proactive risk identification and management. 9. Tailored solutions and action plans, experts can assist in developing customized risk mitigation strategies and action plans based on the organization's needs and objectives. 10. Enhanced organizational resilience, strengthening organizational resilience by leveraging external expertise to address complex risk scenarios. Process of consulting an expert for risk management. 1. Identify the need for expertise, recognize specific areas and aspects of a project, initiative, or organization where specialized knowledge is required for effective risk management. 2. Select relevant experts, identify and select experts with expertise in the relevant field or domain. This could include industry professionals, subject matter experts, consultants, or individuals with a proven track record in risk management. 3. Define the scope of consultation, clearly define the scope and objectives of the consultation. Communicate the specific questions or challenges for which expert advice is required. 4. Engage in consultation, arrange meetings, interviews, or workshops with the selected experts. Engage in discussions to gather insights, perspectives, and recommendations related to potential risks and effective risk management strategies. 5. Ask targeted questions, pose targeted questions to the experts to extract information relevant to risk identification, assessment, and mitigation. Experts can provide insights into industry trends, best practices, and potential pitfalls. 6. Collaborate on risk analysis, collaborate with experts in analyzing potential risks, considering their likelihood and impact. Experts can contribute to a more nuanced and informed risk assessment. 7. Benefit from lessons learned, leverage experts' experiences and lessons from similar projects or situations. This helps in avoiding common pitfalls and adopting successful risk management practices. 8. Evaluate recommendations, evaluate the recommendations provided by the experts. Assess their feasibility, relevance, and alignment with organizational goals. 9. Integrate expert advice into strategies, integrate expert advice into the overall risk management strategies. This may involve adjusting plans, refining processes, or implementing additional safeguards based on expert recommendations. Consulting an expert is a proactive approach to risk management that empowers organizations to tap into external knowledge and experience. It facilitates a more thorough understanding of potential risks and contributes to developing effective risk management strategies. By consulting relevant experts, an organization can gain valuable insights, access specialized knowledge, and develop more effective risk management strategies, 
ultimately safeguarding the company and mitigating potential challenges. 75. Use models and software. Organizations can identify potential risks with operational risk identification tools, including models and software. Risk identification software assists businesses in planning and controlling their risk identification process by using computerized instruments to allow managers and project teams to communicate, share project data, highlight loopholes, and review identified risks. Managers can use such software to develop to-do lists, schedules, templates, and checklists to establish and track the workflows for identifying organization and project risks. All the information gathered and analyzed during the risk identification process using risk identification software will provide a foundation for further risk analysis, evaluation, and estimation. Business organizations can use several analytical tools and technological strategies to identify and evaluate risks. Simulations and scenario role-playing are examples of models organizations can use to identify risks. Criteria for selecting good risk identification software include usability, user interface, compliance management, prediction capabilities, incident navigation, reporting and analytics, integrations, and value for money. Using models and software in risk identification and management enhances the risk management process's efficiency, accuracy, and comprehensiveness. These tools provide organizations with structured frameworks, analytical capabilities, and automation that facilitate identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks. Models and software enhance risk identification and management across various industries and organizational settings. They offer valuable tools for gaining insights, optimizing strategies and making informed decisions in the face of uncertainty. Benefits of using models and software in risk management 1. Efficiency, streamlines the risk management process, saving time and resources. 2. Consistency, ensures a consistent and standardized risk identification and assessment approach. 3. Automation, automates repetitive tasks, reducing the likelihood of human errors. 4. Data analysis, enables in-depth data analysis, supporting a more thorough understanding of risks. 5. Visualization, visual representations of risk data enhance communication and comprehension. 6. Scalability, facilitates the management of risks across multiple projects or business units. 7. Real-time monitoring, SUPO. Ati's real-time monitoring of risk statuses and updates. 8. Improved decision-making, provides decision-makers with data-driven insights for informed decision-making. Examples of models and software for risk identification and management. Financial institution, using credit risk models to assess borrower creditworthiness and manage loan portfolios. Cybersecurity team, employing threat intelligence platforms to identify and prioritize emerging cyber threats. Supply chain manager, utilizing risk maps to assess potential disruptions from natural disasters or geopolitical events. Project manager, running Monte Carlo simulations to estimate project completion timelines and identify potential delays. Healthcare provider, implementing early warning systems to detect and respond to outbreaks of infectious diseases. Notwithstanding the benefits of using models and software in risk management, it is necessary to ensure 1. Selection of the suitable model or software depending on a firm's specific needs and risk profile. 2. Data quality is crucial for generating accurate and reliable results. 3. Models and software should complement, not replace, human expertise and judgment. And, 4. Regularly review and update models to reflect business environment and risk landscape changes. Models and software play a crucial role in enhancing the effectiveness of risk identification and management processes by providing tools for analysis, visualization, and automation. Organizations can leverage these technologies to systematically identify, assess, 
and mitigate risks, ultimately contributing to improved decision-making and overall resilience. Models and software help organizations better understand their risks, make data-driven decisions, and implement more effective mitigation strategies, ultimately fostering a more resilient and proactive approach to risk identification and management. Conclusion this video has discussed 75 ways of identifying risk in an organization. Risk management is identifying, assessing, and mitigating potential threats that could negatively impact a firm's performance and achieving its objectives. The first step in a risk management process is to identify potential risks. After identifying an organization's risk, the next thing is to create a risk management plan that efficiently tackles the identified risks at the other stages of the risk management process. Having identified a risk exposure, the risk must be assessed to determine its likelihood and consequences, and then a suitable risk treatment strategy must be adopted to manage the risks. I hope this video is educative and beneficial to you. Please post your comments below in the comments section. If this video has been educative and beneficial, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for seeing the Solomon Fadden, Risk Management of Everything videos. I love to hear from you. Please post your comments and questions in the comment section below. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel, Solomon Fadden, Risk Management of Everything's channel, and press the notification button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.